example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In office Orlando. Being a great dad doesn't require some fat wallet. I realized a simple stopwatch could make my kids' day better. I turned everything into a speed competition. Just time everything. How fast can they make their bed? How quickly can they fold 10 shirts? The weirder, the better. I want time who could hug me the longest. They'll be excited if you're excited. Trust me. Pull out a stopwatch or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and C Lane. It is Thursday, March 7th, 2024. Lots to get to today, from why Matt Reif should sue, to the cameras watching you in the movie theater, and Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is set for Netflix, plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Hello. Hello, c Hey, hey, hey. 
And hello to you. You can join us today. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch today. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash thenewsjunkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Thursday? Good. Good. Ready oh, to party. Man. All right, big energy. I yeah. like yeah. it. Oh, okay. My brain is mashed potatoes, but I'm oh, like, uh, let's just power through it, huh? Hey, I already got the results back from my blood test Ooh. of the doctors oh, yesterday. Oh, my drum roll. Yeah. Uh, I already I got the numbers. It. And I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to need this in, in PDF format, please. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to need to go over all of these individually, I'm sure. So I, I looked at the blood test, and I told you the last one. Triglyce were sky high. I mean, I, uh, Courtney says she thinks she remembers one of the tests being 900, which is just like off the charts. And when I told the doctor yesterday, I said, I think it was around 700 or 740. The doctor was like, oh, like, yeah, like, you know, cartoon eyes coming out of the head. Like, <laughs> we it's, not dead grand walking. it's not great when a doctor looks at you like, how are you alive? <laughs> You're like, whoa, uh, I, they, they, they need to bring in more people to kind of view you just for educational purposes. That's, oh, yeah, you're definitely good. a student, kind of like everyone walk in, and yeah. this is what we should be looking for as far as yeah. alerts. Take a peek, folks. Uh, this this person is an anomaly you, right here. You don't. There are two things I think you don't really uh, want to see is you don't want that stare the, that they're surprised you're alive, or if you're, there's something that needs to be done and they have to bring in, like, the ringer, because they can't do it. <laughs> and I've had that happen with... They're uh, like, get that autistic doctor in here. Who is it? The good doctor? No, no. Uh, he's going to put it harshly, but he's the smartest we have. No. Yeah, listen, listen, fat-ass alcoholic. Here's the deal. <laughs> no, I've had it when I... You know you know how my ear gets clogged up and i got to have them like, uh, rinse it out? Sure. Uh -huh. I've had the person go... Well, we got to bring in, um, we, we got to bring in Maggie. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Like, like, they've been trying, 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 and they're like, we've we got somebody that's, like, you know, better. Than this. Maggie, the sharpshooter, <laughs> yeah. who's going to come in and take care of all of this. So I go, all right, here we go. Let me take a look. Let's see how the triglys are doing. Am I in death territory? And might I remind you, if you weren't listening to the show when I took the first couple of rounds of blood tests, I'll the wait. first one, I, I, I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm really setting you up for failure. I just want to let you know it's 10 seconds long, so okay, let's right. stretch it out. Okay, so the, the first time I took the blood test and got like the 900, I wasn't even, I didn't have a primary care physician at the time. Okay. My triglycerides were that high. And the company, the blood test company called me and they were like, sir, um, we noticed your triglycerides were. Oh, God. Uh, They're not even supposed to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, I'm Dave. I just work okay. here. We and have an like... Excel sheet, and we had to move <laughs> over the column because of this number. He's like, I couldn't have it on my conscience that, like, I didn't inform you that something was wrong here. And so today. Oh, mm, okay. Yeah, all right, Dave. Check the numbers in the morning. Triglyce. Five seconds. Currently at three and go. 221. Oh, right. okay. Is that um, good or bad? See? Well, 150 is where they're supposed to, is the max. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's better so, than 900. Right? Yes, yeah, okay. we, we've, we're not in like normal person territory just yet. But how about that? I mean, 221 is at least a number where I could say it to the doctor. Proud of you, bud. And, uh, them not freak out at me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel a little more alive. Actually, I don't. What is it uh, due to? Was it the six push-ups or just um, uh, binge drinking four nights out of the uh, week? Uh, it's probably the <laughs> lower amount of binge drinking nights. Yeah, I would suggest it was probably that. We're now down to yeah four, four out of seven, and the walking, which I haven't been able to do for a handful of days here. Oh yeah, my, uh, my those of you just tuning in, uh, Sean lost his legs. Uh, I know I have my legs still. I just I, I was in a bull accident and uh, Lieutenant Sean ain't got no legs. <laughs> As a result of that, things are rough. All right, let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to why Matt Reif, the comedian, should sue. Okay, uh, this is something that like somebody's got to bite the bullet eventually and become the first person or the first like major case to do this. 
but X slash Twitter is a platform. Most people already know it's just a cesspool. It's a bunch of weirdos, like lots of weirdos, lots of grifters, Facebook, lots of people. Instagram, Twitter, just, they're, they're willing to say anything to get some more lift on their tweets. They don't believe half the stuff they're saying. It's all messed up, man. That's a great it's job. Just, it's bad for all of humanity, right? So that said, like, don't get me wrong. There are good things. Like, I like during live news events being able to go to a, a resource like Twitter slash X and see what people are saying in real time. But there's so much bad. And uh, Matt Reif, you know, he's got this this guy who says he was, ah, you know, before I got mega rich, I too, sir, was a comedian. Mm -hmm. And he says this story. Have you guys heard this yet or no? I have not. Tell me more. Okay. I right, heard um, uh, a little bit of chatter on the way in. Okay. All right. So the, he makes this statement. I'll bleep out some of it myself here in real times. Oh, boy. The dark side of Hollywood is finally being exposed. Okay. Thanks to one of the true kings of comedy, Cat Williams. Kate. You know, before I became wealthy in business, I actually had a somewhat successful career in stand-up comedy. Also, sorry, the, who is this? Th this is some dude I've never okay. heard of in my life. I his was name like, is... Matt Reif has really changed his look. You guys can look him up. His name is Nima Yamini. N I M A Y A M I N I. You don't really need to. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. put in Nima, he comes up. <laughs> okay, he does. All right. So, no idea who this guy is, other than exactly. the fact that he's a liar for cloud. I have a little bit of a rule when someone is walking around and spinning and has to start off their video with, before I became super rich and successful, and uh -huh. this is also what I did, then I'm like, did you though? Yeah. Did, did you? Ya? Did you? I I was sitting not that long ago next to a whole bunch of people at um uh what's the name of the damn taco place? Uh Taco Bell. No. <laughs> wasn't Taco That's all Bell. I got. Business Del meeting taco. at Taco Bell. No. Uh the place where they do the table side guac. I was oh, Rocco's Tacos. Uh, Rocco's Tacos. We're at Rocco's Tacos and there's all there's this group of these douchebag guys all sitting next to Courtney. And they're all money talking. You know what I'm saying? If you ever like, oh, what you got to do is you got to get in on these, bro. You know, the Forex trading has got me up to this and I'm gotten this and this. And they're all talking about money. And like, that's why we're putting a new addition on the house. We got the, the power boat coming in and the, the new RV. And I mean, it I'm does like, say on flaunt.com that he is. Now? A, yep, flaunt.com. <laughs> all right. That this guy is a. Tech founder, entrepreneur, successful CEO, and TikTok star. All right, now go to the flaunt part where you can input all of the things about you and your own profile. Oh, wait, hold on. Entrepreneur and CEO of what? Does it say? Uh, tech uh, company, Sean. Here. Come on. Is it, is it, okay. By the way, I'm, I'm about to shout down a whole bunch of you because some of you, and you seem to be people who are right of center politically, are so dumb on this. Absolutely brain rotted to the core, and I have to rehabilitate you. Okay, mm. I have to fix you because you are broken human beings, and I'll try to do that in a second. What's he the CEO of? I'm I'm, I'm looking. I was waiting for the, the sorry, the my blood's fixing. boiling. <laughs> the fixing. Not careful, no, triglides just went up. <laughs> uh, that's a, you know, At least we know he's less of a chance of having a heart attack now. <laughs> I don't know. It still could happen today with how insanely stupid and smooth brained. So many people are. It's wild. Rando dude comes out and says something on on Twitter, and everybody, yep, yeah, well, that's it. You know, that's sure that's man. a fact. So this guy, we're to believe that he was right there on the precipice because he's hilarious so far with Marilyn Manson's sweet dreams in the background during his everybody in Hollywood, they're all groomers kind of talk that he has going on here. That's the go to bed for it. Uh, is that for what they use? For some reason, yeah, it's just like we're about to give a tough message. But I'm mm -hmm. here to put it all out there and make sure we're going to be heroes, patriots, slash yeah. whatever else is the trigger word. We, we got out all the bad guys, all the boogeymen, of course, all in Hollywood. Don't get me wrong. I hate Hollywood. I hate all the phony people in Hollywood. But you're dumber than them if you're buying into this. So that's why you get slapped by me today a couple of times. If you want to fight back, fine. Go do it with the dispatch at thenewsjunkie.com. So here he is. Back to this lion dude. Name it whatever. We don't need to say his name any more than we already have. He founded an investment consulting firm, PN and Friends, an online education company with one of the world's largest crypto, NFT, and blockchain communities. Cool. Oh, that's doing cool. well, I'm sure. Cool. And <laughs> so you scammed a bunch of people. Invest all your money in that because guess what? Watch that thing flop upside down in the next two years. If there Sorry, is any money tied to this. Out, man. Come on.
if there is anybody tied to whatever this guy's doing. If good, I file yeah. articles of incorporation, am I automatically a CEO or does there is there some <laughs> yes! is there yes! some prerequisite to get the title? No, you are. My cousin started his own pressure cleaning company at one point in time and then he handed me a business card that said his name and it said CEO and I was like <laughs> You did it, buddy. You did it. I was like, technically, you're the chief executive officer. Put that on the way. Oh, I'm the CEO, too, with yeah. my uh, in cor- uh, corporation. Why wouldn't you be the CEO? It's your own I thing. Go for it. You should put it on flaunt.com. You should be the SEO, the sole executive officer. Hey, I have, I'm one of these days I'll have an employee. Carl, can I, my uh, dog be my employee? He's first in line, yeah. yeah he, like he's a... He's a uh, Hard worker. You pay him in scratchy scratches. <laughs> he's an adorable worker. He pees everywhere. He's a, he's a dependent, right? Yes, you know, he, very He requires much. you to take care of him, all these things. Okay, so he says, like, I was just on the precipice because I'm super hilarious of going big in stand-up comedy. And then this happened. I was on the way up. I was invited to a meeting with some Hollywood executives. Stop spinning around. with some now famous comedian. And we were offered the chance for a deal at online stardom. But the only way to receive the contract was by... Okay. Okay. By, uh, by by providing oral to both of the executives that mm-hmm. promised the start. Oh, right? okay. okay. Got it. All right. <laughs> Immediately got up and. Because that's how Hollywood works, folks. Yeah. <laughs> there's just a, there's it a just room. takes one mop mop and you're a star. I told Courtney, I said, if this was the way Hollywood works, do you know how many comedians that even I just know that would be lining up at the door? They'd be like, I'm here for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'd do it. Where are the two guys? Where, where, where are the two I dudes? Mean, of all the Hollywood execs, if you just have to do two of them? Yeah, you, you think I'm above this? If you're pretty good at it, it will be all of what, five minutes? And I love the angry dude driving around right now. Just, oh, bro, you know, Days. I, you're sure I could, I, could, I could service two gentlemen and be rich for the rest of my life, but no. I, are you kidding me? And you're back for to your cubicle. You could flop a hundred of them in my face. Like, get out of here. This is not the way any of this works, obviously. All right. So he continues on. He's like, I when I heard this offer, I walked out. I was out of the door. Up. But before I could even exit, the other comedian was sucking both of their oh. Wait, 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 yeah. If I mean, do you possible. know how? Do you replace the G? Could you could you draw that? Draw a picture of this? I mean, the two guys. <laughs> you don't have, have to draw to, a picture, C Lane. Go to the internet. You have to get their their their, their wieners so close together. <laughs> is this the most important part? Is it before I exited this is what the room? He's hung up on. Before I exited the room, which just seems like that must have been a, a large hallway uh, uh-huh. or the door very far away, because just the timing it would take for. Both of them be like, all right, we're just going to do it at the same time. And yep. he says he is now witnessing that. I mean, the, what kind of pants were they wearing? Or were they the pants were like already off? Medieval bridges just dropping yeah. out of their pants. Just, yeah. all right, now we're ready to go immediately. <laughs> and then now Matt Reif is famous, right? And the rest is, is history. I'm going to be Netflix special. <laughs> he says specifically he was doing this. Simultaneously. That guy's name was Matt Reif. And that's Alpha King rule number 799. That's Alpha King rule 799. This guy, this, I mean, I, God, I don't, my face I don't wall. necessarily love Matt Reif, but I really hate this guy. So I, sue him. I now am on the, the team. I'm team Reif to sue the crap out of this dude. Sue him. Go and every, it. somebody goes, you, you can't do it. There's some, uh, a bunch of like really, really uh, 60 IQ people in the comments of this. And somebody last night is like, you can't sue them. It's parody. That's not parody. There is that no, not, not parody. A parody. There, there's no court in existence that's going to view this as parody. It's defamation. Uh, then, then people will say, um, you know, it's your First Amendment right. We have freedom of speech. And you don't what? have freedom of speech to defame people. And if you knowingly defame people. And technically, he couldn't speak at the time, considering what was. <laughs> if you knowingly defame people, you are going to be, if you're sued, you're going to have a judgment against you. What are you laughing at, I got a text from somebody who has experience. Oh, yeah. okay. 
It says, is possible. Says I've done it, but it's pretty much head heads in only because of the angles. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. All of this, it's, it's fake. It's a phony story. But because some of you have, like, r- literally 60 IQ brains, you look at this and you go, Hollywood, I told you. Full of all the groomers. That's how you get into all of this. And you do, Matt Rife clearly does. Matt Rife got in because he's a good-looking guy. That worked for him. He was smart at marketing on TikTok and one of the first kind of comedians to break through doing well, that. That's not what I have. Yeah. <laughs> he, he made an audience of millions on there who are willing to buy tickets to his shows. If you think he sucks, fine. I don't think he's that Wait. great. But some oh, of you are good. so... You're so <laughs> not, not, not like as in is not. <laughs> I just wanted, you know, there's a lot of things we covered think, today. If you think he's not good as a comedian, I should stipulate. Fine, that is okay. But if you think there's like PizzaGate underground, I don't know, a bunch of Jews in Hollywood that are forcing people to do this to are become all not famous. <laughs> yeah, there's not. There's not because every person who wants to be a stand-up comedian would be far too willing to do it. This is not a real thing. It's weird. And when you come out and say this stuff about somebody, that's clear and present harm to the career of that person. It's clear and present defamation. Matt Rife has the money. Sue his ass. You know why? You know why I say to do this? Look at this video. 21.8 million people have seen this stupid ass video. 21.8 million I can't people. I believe it hasn't been taken down yet. Nobody's taking it down. It won't be taken why? down. Because no, that's okay. we... no, we wouldn't take this down. People got to see this. Now watching taking... it's, people start watching the Netflix uh, you know, special that Matt Rife has. Just a little bit mm-hmm. more, he gets a spike because they're like, <laughs> let's break this down here. <laughs> Just look uh, at is... his mouth. Pause it. This is so insanely stupid. And I know he just blocks people. He's like, I'm above it. I'm going to keep go Sue them, man. Sue people who do this. If anybody does this to me, you're, you're done for. I'm going to tank you. And you're going to pay for my lawyer's bills. And you can pretend like you know about the First Amendment. And you can tell people who are in radio who do this for a living that you understand what defamation or libel or anything like that is over people who have actually had to issue retractions and understand what it's like to deal with lawyers, understand what it's like to say things for a living that are incredibly controversial. Why are you so hyped right now? Because there's so many stupid people. There are so many stupid. And they're like, why doesn't he just say I didn't do it? Okay. Then whoever says that um, you raped your sister yesterday. Okay. Tell you're me supposed now, to say you're supposed ex- to say grape on the internet. You say grape. explain yourself. Explain yourself because now I've leveled the accusation. Why don't you just say no? Why don't you just say you didn't do it? Right? That's how this whole world should operate. It's so stupid. And many of these people don't even know, like, because I'm a huge supporter of the First Amendment. Happen to know a little bit about it because of the position I'm in, the job that I do. Right? There's such a thing under the First Amendment as fighting words. Okay. And to me, these would be fighting words. Them's, them's fighting them's words. Them's yeah. are fighting words, which is actually where all of that comes from. Which you know means what that guy that... should have done with his like big reveal and his uh, whistle blowing, mm-hmm. but emphasis on the second word is why don't you call out the other two executives? Yes, so he doesn't easily, completely... easily said Matt Rife's name. Right. Wait, what about Who's... the two execs that you Let, walked let's... out of the meeting for? Let's say your insane story, which is absolutely 1,000% a stupid fabricated lie for clout because you're a mud shark, terrible human being, right? Let's say that there's some truth to it. Wouldn't your target be, as Sabrina just said, the terrible Hollywood uh, sex goblins that are making people do this to get into the comedy industry? No, 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 no. It's way more more important than... um, that, then calling out the groomers, it's way more important to go, hey, you know the guy that's super famous? Gay! <laughs> that's what they're doing. Enough is enough. Sue people. We, we've got to be done with this whole, oh, I don't want to be soft on this. You know what's soft? Letting somebody say that stuff about you over and over and over again. Not in my world. I need to get people on the same page as me here. There's free speech, which I love, and there's cucked free speech, which is you let people say whatever they want about you, and you're like, ah, free speech. No, thank you. I'll hard pass on that. No, thank you. What do you think? Do let us know. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have room for what anyone else thinks? <laughs> Just saying. Uh, I, look, trust me. There are people, even when I tweeted out about this yesterday, I was like, sue his ass. If you have the money to do it, 
sue him so that the next person who goes to publish something like this to get the clout bucks to, for their whatever stupid uh, company that, that does whatever in the crypto world, always a crypto bro, huh? Whenever they do that, I want them to think twice. I would want them to think Sean Watson. I wanted them to think my name before they say, they go, oh, that's right. That's why right. he I'll could do three crushed. at one time. Question: I'll get crushed for this. Question: Yeah, and this is probably a Moses question, so I'll, I'll add it to the list. Oh, no, don't don't let Moses get through this. I'm I'm, I'm not going to talk about the two okay peens. Got it. <clears throat> I might have to. We bring, might have I might have to, to bring, bring up the two peens. No, but, um, no it, is Matt Reif the only person that could seek some sort of retaliation against? I mean, it, seek some sort of action against this guy for just getting on uh, the internet and being. I've been lying. Matt Rife is the target, so I would assume, but we can ask Mo about that. <clears throat> Mo's going to, I I'm guarantee you, line up exactly the same way on this. Did the person knowingly uh, defame another individual? Yes, because they know that this story that they're saying absolutely fundamentally isn't true, right? Did the person uh, do this with a direct attack on a human being that's identifiable by name? Yes, they specifically said the name of the person that they suggested did this. Number three, is the information that uh -huh. the person put out something that was widely spread? Yes, over 25 million views so far. Number four, could this have a negative impact and be a de detriment on the target person of the defamation's careers? Yes, 100,000%. Sue them. These are losers. Why do we let them exist like this? I hope this guy's whole thing comes crashing down on him. I and I'll see be his, there. Uh, comedy. Uh, yeah, I bet it's hilarious. <laughs> just, this is the opener right here. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Enough ranting We're going to take a deep breath. One second. <sighs> how, how is your blood pressure doing? I don't know. I'm not taking that during the show anymore after <laughs> last time. Oh, bad one. Oof. Okay, when we come back, we'll get to uh, there is some other news involving uh, the president of the United States we have to talk about and an idea for a self-checkout. That is the worst self-checkout idea. I don't know why anybody thought this would be a good idea, but this is coming up next on the News Junkie. The fine woman in your smart speaker knows what you need. Really? Don't ask how. Just tell her to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Heading through the city on I-4 this afternoon, a bit of congestion to watch out for eastbound between Orange Blossom Trail and approaching Colonial Drive. Authorities are still clearing up that accident off to the shoulder now on Florida's Turnpike southbound north of Oakland Exchange. Expect heavy delays there. And there's an accident on Boggy Creek Road southbound south of Lake Nona Boulevard to watch out for. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by the Florida Department of Transportation. Hey, listeners, before celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year, remember to plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Don't let your luck run out. Daytona Bike Week is back March 1st through the 10th, and there's no better place to celebrate than at the iconic Daytona International Speedway. Home to the area's largest motorcycle marketplace with top manufacturer displays, top-of-the-line gear, custom bikes, and more. Plus, free test rides on Progressive Demo Road and all the excitement of Harley-Davidson Thunder Alley. It all culminates Saturday, March 9th with America's most historic motorcycle race, the Daytona 200. Don't miss out. Daytona International Speedway is the place to celebrate Bike Week. I had my first kid at 19 and this is going to sound strange but the best advice i can give to other young dads is stay i wanted to run away i wanted to just keep living my own life but i chose to be her dad and now i'm uh, i'm glad i did i can't imagine my life without my daughter and i can't imagine making her grow up without a dad dads today may feel hard but it's always the right choice to be a father first Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. Yeah. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Online only. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. 
but finding those people can be a major hassle, unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, It was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market... There's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Turn up the cleanliness at your restaurant, healthcare, or industrial business with Alsco Uniforms, the official sponsor of the Orlando Magic Mop Crew. We've got you covered with crisp uniforms, hygienically clean linens, floor mats, and, of course, mops delivered weekly. But that's not all. Alsco Uniforms also offers weekly weekly services for first aid and restroom supplies. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco uniforms. Visit alsco.com to learn more. Again, that's alsco.com. Hard podcast update this week on your free iHeartRadio app. Math and Magic: Stories from the Frontiers of Marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeartMedia chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School: Digital Marketing and Online Marketing Tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office hours with Mike Stein. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership, career, and life. Hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. This
in the world. Everything's becoming self-checkout, right? Everywhere you go, whether you like it or not, I go to the Walmart uh, Marketplace, I think it's what it's called, which is not far from me. And if you go in there, I swear it's two-thirds self-checkout now, and there's not even any actual employees that are doing the checkouts. It's All, all the people are being routed through the self-checkout there. What about the booze? Um, maybe they come over for that. We they, haven't they bought have any alcohol. We, we haven't purchased any alcohol there, but every time we've gone there, and uh, I should preface this with when we go there, it's after 5 p.m., generally speaking. Um, but So you've already all, had some alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> well, not that, but all the employees are kind of gathered together. They're congregating. There might be three or four of them at the front of the store talking to each other, and then all of the people are checking themselves out at the self-checkout, which is sort of weird. It's like... Uh, what's going on here? Is everybody, uh, are all you, uh, should you all be here? <laughs> what, what do we got going on here? And so I look at this and I go, I get it. Self-checkout's fine. Actually, we haven't had a single problem going through the self-checkout there. Haven't had a single problem at like, let's say Home Depot where they're leaning, leaning heavily into self-checkout. I've had a, a problem times. going through self-checkout at Walmart. It's a very, Have you? it's a very specific problem. What and is it? Was, it? Uh, um, Walmart does Just like an inconvenience kind of yes. thing. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Walmart doesn't um, uh, have a, like tap to pay. Oh or, yeah. Or like a, your for your phone. Oh. Mm-hmm. You have to use the Walmart app and like scan the QR code and pay through the app. That's annoying. Yeah. They're, I know for a fact that the devices that Walmart has support tap to pay. You know why? They, but they want to get more my last to name on them. They're Lane Seven Thousands. That's the only reason I pay attention to that. To, to why? <laughs> well, but, well what, the, what this means is they want more people to download the app, right? Yeah, and but when you're just there to buy, like, oh gosh, what was I, what was I going to get? It was something stupid, and I was sitting there, and then I thank God there were plenty of other like stations for the the self checkout mm-hmm. because the Wi Fi was super slow that day. Because of course it was. Mm-hmm. And so I just had to sit there and wait for this app to download because I didn't have my wallet and I had there was no other way to, to pay. And you're sitting there like a poro because people start looking at you like this guy ain't got the I money. I was waiting for the, the attendant to come by and like <laughs> just moving some I, numbers around, savings account. Can I, I assist it. you with anything, sir? Sorry. Uh, no. Uh, Santa Paws on Twitch, who is watching the show at twitch.tv slash the news junkie. You can watch or listen to the show. Very places across this great country of ours and Santa Paws says I have had issues too sometimes things don't end up on the receipt that I have in my bags then they tackle your ass when you go out the door mostly it's okay he's just admitting to stealing that's he's just stealing Yeah, well, it's accidental stealing, so it's a little less I of don't a know culpability. I don't know. <laughs> Did he say accident? Depends on when you realize this this whole thing happened. So we go to all these places. The point is, we're used to self checkout. Okay, we're even used to a little bit of crazier stuff that's been around for a while. You may or may not know this. Sometimes now, when you go to the drive through of a fast food establishment, they have an employee who could be artificial intelligence that you're talking to, making your order to. It could be a, a computer, or it could be that that person is operating in another country with much lower wages. And so they got like some, a bunch of people, in fact, sitting in a room in, uh, I don't know, it could be any number of these like East Asian countries. Manila in the Philippines is a, a city where a lot of people do this. And you're talking to that person. You, you're at the drive through in West Palm Beach or Dallas or Rochester, or Orlando or wherever. But you're talking to a person who's halfway across the world because it's cheaper. That's what they do. But now, this seems weird. I don't know about this. They're testing it right now in Las Vegas, Nevada. TSA is testing a new self-checkout lane. Uh. This is only for pre-checked flyers, what up, which what up? I'm still not in that group. See, Lane, are you? I know Sabrina is, I, uh, You know, I had every intention of doing pre-check. It was one of those like, all right, you know what, next year. And now I, don't, now I have nowhere to fly right now. Oh, so. Well, it's a game changer True. Yeah. for one who Jackson's old enough. Anybody who's been frustrated with robot cashiers at supermarkets and big box retailers will ask themselves why. The new TSA self-checkout lane looks a lot more like the existing security you're probably familiar with at U.S. airports. There are bins for your belongings that run along a conveyor belt and a backscatter X-ray machine that scans your body. The innovation with these new self-checkout lanes appears to be the absence of large numbers of TSA agents who typically explain things. If you have any questions, simply ask the TSA officer on demand. So you like 
push a button and they give you digit TSA officer who goes, hello, sir or madam, and says they'll help you out with whatever things you have. Uh, you run into issues because they'll dial in remotely, which I don't know. You can only do that if there's some TSA people there. You can't do that with like no TSA people. No. And I think that when it comes to like super busy times in the airport, everyone's traveling. That's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, it's going could to be, be a nightmare in Vegas. I mean, I guess it's the best spot to really figure out if it's going to work or not because that constantly mm-hmm. has traffic. But good luck to all of you. Yeah, it says the goal that. appears to be removing as many TSA officers from the process as possible, though there will still be agents around to conduct any pat downs they deem necessary. Folks, do you see the future that I'm highlighting? At the McDonald's, there's one person, and all the rest is AI or people working remotely. In the airport, it's like one or two TSA uh, agents. That's not in our future. All the rest of it is AI or automated. And then whoop, 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 the alarm goes off and they walk over. You go to Walmart, you're checking out. Whoop, 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 the alarm goes off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You go over there and they, they help the person. But the staff at these businesses and even security measures like, like uh, at the airport with TSA is going to be diminished. Now, you don't have to worry about us. Because they've already done that with us in radio, at iHeartRadio, okay? They've already whacked the weeds as many times as they can, and we all have 17,000 Real is in the unemployment line right now. (laughs) He's just remoting And he doesn't own his name (laughs) anymore. Sad, Uh, sad. Unfortunately, self-checkout lanes at the TSA, they say. What do you think about this? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Would you trust that room full of robots doing all our TSA stuff? Uh, just no, no. Automated it robot. It mm, just like uh, it sounds uh, dangerous if you ask me. But yeah, okay. Yeah, it, uh, it sounds it. like a bad idea. Like Arya Shadowblade says on Twitch, it sounds like a bad idea for safety. Just in general, uh, it would seem that way. I think. Uh, I mean, I don't, they're doing their their research, right? They got uh, no they got their ducks in a row. No, they're stupid. The TSA? Come on, man. Look at all the stuff we do over there. Some of them are really nice. Come on. We still have to take off our shoes. No, not the rank and file. Those are the people who are going to get fired not by the this. the pre-check people. They don't have to take off their shoes, do they? No, we no, don't. I, I, I'm not commenting on the intellectual capabilities of the people who actually are TSA agents. They're fine. They're great. In fact, we got a bunch of them that listen to the show. Thank you so much for that. But, uh, by the way, last time, I think I mentioned this afterwards, last time I went through the airport, TSA guy goes like, hey, love the show, man, as he's like, Checking my ID and looking at the ticket, I go, all right. Well, thank I could you. have <laughs> a gun in my butt. <laughs> yeah, I could have snuck something in. See you later. And we're right in. So it's not those people. It's the people who make the decisions. And the less people they can hire, the better for them. And then guess what? Nobody has any jobs. Oh, the problem's on our horizon. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear either way. Go to the newsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. Someone in the texting service <clears throat> asked if you had a Celsius today. No. <laughs> Should I? No, 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 no. Let's no. see where this can go. All right. We got to talk about what's happening with the president. And there's a, a move to make a ban for something that a lot of people aren't going to like. And this could even go down at the State of the Union tonight with Biden. We'll get into the first dispatches on a lovely Thursday. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. This week on The Jim Colbert Show, it's your chance to join members of The Jim Colbert Show in a suite at the Kia Center to see comedian Tom Segura on March 14th. For your chance to win, just listen to The Jim Colbert Show weekdays starting at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida and Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we're expecting a gorgeous day. Make plans to be outside if you don't have them already. We'll plan for an afternoon high of 81 degrees of the mix of sunshine and clouds. As we head to our Friday, we'll expect a few more clouds overhead. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 80s by this weekend for Saturday. Breezy, a high of 89 degrees with evening shower and storm chances. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Your tax refund goes even farther at Mattress Warehouse. Save up to 60% plus get 0% interest financing and free next day delivery. Come in sleepy, leave happy, and save more. Only at Mattress Warehouse. Use code REFUND to save an additional 10%.
When it comes to being a homeowner, there's a lot of responsibility that you take on. And that's why people who you work with become more important than you would ever imagine. You need somebody who helps you out with, let's say, your sprinklers. And you need somebody who helps out with the major appliances in your house if something goes wrong. But more importantly than anything, perhaps, you need somebody to help you out if your air conditioner is not working the correct way or maybe even not working at all. The good news is Mills Air is ready to help. They have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years of helping people out just like you at Mills Air. And they're a carrier factory authorized dealer, meaning they get you rebates up to $1,275 toward a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to Mills Air. Reach out for preventative maintenance that can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. 407-277-1159 or find them online at millsair.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only three sixty nine. dollars Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar game. Guaranteed. The adult only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis, and pickleball events. Cabin started just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like the Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. You can live out your MasterChef dreams. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at FLJobsNow.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733.
because you're never too old to learn something stupid. This is the News Junk. away from just okay eight and we're ready for you or getting there very quickly and make sure you get your tickets those are at realradio.fm slash just okay uh get all ready for the event thanks to our big friends great friends the most amazing friends over at mills air oh yeah Yeah. thanks mills our sponsor for just okay eight couldn't be more excited about that and glad to have them on board Uh, what a great company to uh, have as a sponsor of uh, just okay but we got almost everything ready to go i did however realize that for sealand and i's duo that's going to be playing at just okay uh, i had been practicing for three days straight one of the songs the fingertips uh, not great, actually. I, it's, that whole process of working back into yeah. playing the acoustic guitar, oof, man. Uh, but I'm going to have to do the same thing because I, oh, I, yeah? I don't have calluses yes, like I used to. I'm leaning on you. I need, you you got to be the, the one. I'm not saying yeah. I'm going to suck. I'm just saying okay. that it's going to hurt gonna say, afterwards. Ow, yeah. yeah. We need okay. to ice those tips. I was pl- I was practicing the song wrong for three days straight. Oh, oh this is record. good. Yeah. This might be yeah. uh, put the curtain back down, huh? It's because Elaine said to me, he goes, "We're going to do this song in this key," and I was like, "You got it, buddy." Was, All right, here we go. And then later, I go, "Do I need to learn this song too?" And he goes, "Yeah, that's the song I told you to do in this key." And I was like, "Whoops, I Ooh. didn't read things correctly." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, when, and when you said that to me, I I I, I kind of construed from your your question that maybe you had done that, and I was just like, "I want to leave that." I'm going to leave him be on this particular, you know, a lot of stuff's going on. Yeah. I'm working on it now though. I got it in the right key. It was jamming out a little bit and uh, it was sounding, it was sounding good. It was sounding it's easier good. on your hands in this key, right? Uh, it is. Yeah. yeah. All <laughs> so, right. It's very mysterious. I was, like, I was like, no, I'll muscle through. I'll, I'll get it right for this show. I've got to make just okay. to a fun time. Uh, oof. Yeah, so we got that all straightened out. Now, over to what's happening tonight, I guess. The State of the Union from Whoa. President Biden. Yeah, that's right. It's going down. Be interesting to see if he has any weirdo moments or if he's got it all together. Oh, come on, man. How as bad as he I goes. I have my ice cream. After Trump, he mm. might go after Trump. Uh, what, he talk, what he says when it comes to, like, all this stuff happening in the Near East. There's like all kinds of things that you could put your focus on. What's he going to say about the economy? I still say that's one of the key issues for so many people. Uh, what's he going to say about the border? Because Biden has changed his tune quite a bit on the border. Even though the uh, the ladies over on MSNBC were chuckling about this. They're like, ah, ha, ha. the exit polls say in Virginia... They're worried about the border. <laughs> it's like, oh, Good you times. have worked in media for too long and you don't understand what it's like to be a person, just a regular <laughs> ass person like us. People mm-hmm. have all sorts of major concerns right now. And people in big cities that haven't had concerns about illegal immigration because it hasn't affected them as much have concerns about it right now. Places like Chicago, they're really worried about it. They're not. Everybody weirdos. has their shin to worry about. Abortion, uh, immigration, uh, inflation. Yeah, well, what's your shin? You got to pick one of them. Yeah. And we'll go over those shins during the State of the Union with Biden tonight. The 81-year-old president shall be up there. Uh, I'm interested to see what he says. Can he be funny? Is, will he be funny? Is the State of the Union a place where people are ever funny? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'll be watching at least a little bit, at least the highlights afterwards. But one thing that's come up Ooh. on the radar. Can we do is, that thing where we figure out how long the State of the Union would be without the applause? It's always so insane how much of the time is wasted on, on applause. Everybody just, ah, awkward amounts of time. And, like, sometimes this side stands up and sometimes that side stands up. If you get them both, whoa, now we're talking. You never get the Supreme Court folks because they have to pretend like they're above it and they're not political, even though they're all actually political because everyone on the planet is political right now or just kind of always is, I guess. I don't know. We pretend not to be. We just got to elect the people who are both political and maybe not as crazy as the other people. That would be a goal that we should take on at some point, maybe four years from now. But President Biden talking about once again uh, supporting this bill in Congress that would effectively ban TikTok 
It would require bite dance. This is a new bill, actually. It's like the 15th attempt to do this, but it would require the parent company bite dance to sell the app because of national security concerns about the way it uses and stores its data or face a ban. This is stupid. Let me tell you why for the 20th time. All right. There was a fantastic story this weekend. That story was showing how many issues we have with security in the United States of America. Precisely zero of the problems were coming from TikTok. TikTok is something that mostly old people and people who are afraid of China are scared of. And they look, oh, I don't know, Chinese government. Should we keep an eye on it? Of course we should. Should we make sure we're scanning and making sure there's not like weird malware that's spying on all Americans? Yes. Isn't that the job of Apple and Google and the app stores to make sure that all apps aren't doing that? Not just one or two, but like all of us are safe from all of the apps doing that. One would think that that's why they're taking such a big chunk of the money out of these marketplaces, even from impoverished little Indian kids who program their own app and dare to upload it to the store. But I digress. Uh, There was a story about how you can very easily buy data from people uh, who are at these huge companies. the, The company they used for an example was Grindr. Oh. They said what they well, wanted what to see. What kind of data? Well, they wanted uh, gay to see. Data. <laughs> they wanted to see because Grinder has like your your movement on it, right? Sure. Like they they actually have that data. And their see if radius the is closer than you would see with the most of the dating apps. Yeah. That's what I understand. It's like let's find someone within four hundred feet of you that's down to get down in the bathroom real quick, and then you continue on. Uh, with your date. <laughs> Bingo bang. That's how Grinder like, works. That's from what uh, I understand. I've not been on the app. And at least some occasions it does. And they saw they wanted to see people who worked at a specific intelligence agency and who also were on Grinder and start to track their movements. And they they did that. They were like, oh, this person who works for this intelligence facility also does X, Y, and Z and is moving over here. And they're getting real-time intelligence on the United States of America at the highest of levels. But they don't need any of that Edward Snowden stuff anymore. They can literally just go to the social media companies and be like, hey, how much is this? And the social media companies go, for $50,000, we'll give you access to that. And they go, thank you, we'll take it. And bammo, they get it just like that. Or they don't even have to take it that far. There's been a bunch of situations where we've had intelligence failures, including one this week that was just highlighted, where some dude who was an elected official, I believe, or at least somebody high up in the government, was talking to a fake woman online, and he kept giving her information about the U.S. government. And she'd be like, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so much for the information. And she kept like... He would feed her classified info or like stuff that wasn't public and all these like honeypots are out there, whatever they call them, to get people to give information. It's all out there. It's not TikTok. That's the major problem here. So many of these other outlets that end up doing this. But TikTok is the focus. TikTok's algorithm is poisonous. Don't get me wrong. It can take and completely brainwash huge swaths of the population to believe radical things politically in seconds, just like that. But the fact of the matter is, it, it it's not the problem that they think it is. Will he meant to mention that? Will uh, Biden talk about that? We'll see. We'll see what happens tonight with the speech. And we'll see how uh, many standing ovations there are, or booze, or whatever else we get. Uh, okay, we have so much stuff to talk about on this lovely Thursday. When we come back, very unexpected, but now leading to a lot more questions. We have a conviction of somebody from that Rust movie. Yeah. And now they're like, hey, for real, Alec Baldwin might go to jail. And It's been a very interesting case. I've seen a lot of the clips on um, Full Circle t- TikTok, so it's like... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, I'm confused a little well, bit. And honestly, didn't we kind of think this was over? Yeah. I thought this would, they shut the door on this. Or the greatest promotion for the movie that's going to come out, I believe, this year. Yeah. I, there's Maybe. so many things. Well, we'll dive into that and tell you what happened with this Rust case in just a moment. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. 
It seems like it's lunchtime because there's a bit of congestion through the city this afternoon on I-4 eastbound between Orange Blossom Trail and Colonial Drive. A bit of delays on Florida's Turnpike southbound between Scrub Jay Lane and Hancock Road. And on I-4 this afternoon before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road, you can expect your regular delays there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Your tax refund goes even farther at Mattress Warehouse. Save up to 60% plus get 0% interest financing and free next day delivery. Come in sleepy, leave happy, and save more. Only at Mattress Warehouse. Use code REFUND to save an additional 10%. Today's Central Florida job market is more competitive than ever. But don't be discouraged. Attend the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, Wednesday, March 13th, from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center and connect with over 70 recruiters right here in Central Florida. Some even offering on-the-spot interviews. Your next career is right in front of you. Join us at the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair on Wednesday, March 13th from noon to 4 p.m. at the Orlando Science Center, 777 East Princeton Street, Orlando, Florida, 32803. That's from noon to 4 p.m. More information at fljobsnow.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Hey Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply. In select markets only, auto pay and paper-free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. 
frankgayservices.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ziprecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. As a military dad, I'll admit my first deployment didn't go great for my kids. I wasn't ready. So every time I'm gone, I just focus on doing small things better. I schedule video calls during their dinner so we can still eat together. I read books they're reading so we can talk about them. <laughs> I send them an email every day. It just takes a little effort, but it's worth it, guys. Dads, duty matters in and out of uniform. So choose to be a father first today. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Injured? Hire America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Send him your tips and your deepest, darkest secrets. Email tips at the... Show, question mark. Well, you don't have to worry about waiting on the phones because that takes forever. Your day's busy, so is ours. And we got technology, friends, so let's use it to our advantage. In fact, you can go to thenewsjunkie.com right now. Learn more about the show while you're there. And also send us a dispatch with your thoughts on whatever we're talking about. We'll get to this Rust case in a, a second here because I can't believe somebody actually was convicted in that whole case. And now Alec Baldwin might go to jail. Who knows? It's like... Did not expect that to happen. I don't know. I don't see Alec Baldwin going to jail here. I, I didn't see anybody going to jail. The I armorer. Was, the armorer. Have you see that new footage that came out, though, where it's like, would anyone handle a weapon like that? Or had you been on a set like this and allow an actor to to direct you as an armorer in that, I didn't, in that I didn't way? See it. What, what was the footage? It was like, it, it was him saying, all right, no, let's do it again. All right. Um, that mm -hmm. was great. But uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. And he's they're like shooting off the fake gun. And it was some, I don't know if it was like expert witness, an armor uh, in other movies, but he was like, as an armorer, I would say, no, we're going to take a second here because we're dealing with live weapons and blah, blah, blah. Basically saying that that set should not have allowed uh, Alec Baldwin to act the way that he did in such a way um, that it maybe could have hmm. avoided it. Now, I, I, once again, like I said earlier, I found it to be very confusing. Okay, well, first things first, I didn't see that. So I'm interested in that, and I'll chase that down. But I did see that they had a gun expert on the stand, and the gun expert, they gave him a gun to show something, and the gun expert accidentally pointed it right at the judge's head. And the, what? The, like, bailiff had to grab the gun real quick. Like, whoa, what are you, what are you doing right now? But when I think about it. Would, I would question that person's... Uh, uh, expertise yeah. yeah because i mean i've been around people that shoot guns more than i do and uh you know and then they're like yeah you want to you want to fire the gun i'm like sure and wanna play with it they would uh, hand me the gun and if i were pointing it in a way that it, it pointed at someone they would be like mm -hmm. no 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 and you're like oh yeah that's right uh you yeah. know we, you don't think of it but 
they think of it more. So as a gun I, expert who is giving expert testimony in the court of law, you'd think they would know not to point a gun, even if it's not loaded, at a judge. All the people judging on this, Stone Assassin on Twitch says, I said this from day one, ignorance isn't a defense. Once you take possession of a weapon, it's on you. He very well could be convicted. Here's why I don't, I can't make sense of that. And if I was a juror, I would never vote for Alec Baldwin to be found guilty of anything, really. Because as an actor, you're given the weapon and you're told this is a, a cold gun or a hot gun, but there's not supposed to be any live ammunition at all on the set, like anywhere, like it's nowhere. crazy that that was even a thing. Yeah, that, like, that should be mixed up at all. Like all live ammunition should be so far away from a set like that. Why would they have it to begin with? Let's go to example territory. We have uh, the Sabrina movie that's being filmed. Okay, C Lane is the armor critically on acclaimed. Thank you. The Sabrina movie, and Sabrina is in the scene mm. in, the, in the in this movie. And I meant Razzies, but uh -huh, exactly that's what you get. C Lane suggests that hey, uh, we were going to do this scene where Sabrina is going to be in a church and point a gun this way and shoot a gun. But not to fear, because obviously I don't have any live ammunition anywhere around any of this. So no matter what happens today, you would never have to worry about there being an actual live bullet that was being fired out of the gun. That's how it should be on a movie set. That's how it's supposed to be. Like That's you their up, job. That's their job to make it so you can pick up every gun and go, da, 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 da. you know, whatever gun you wanted, like an octopus, you pick up all of them and start firing them off up in the air. And the worst thing that's going to happen gonna suck. is a blank goes off. The best thing that's going to happen is nothing. But I, I think that it seems weird if there was a screw up and there was live ammunition in the gun to then go after the actors and stuff and go, you should have treated it like it had a bullet in it the I mean, whole time. This is literally, we've said many times, the only real situation that you've ever been put in with a firearm where you're kind of supposed to point it at people, you know, mm -hmm. depending on whatever movie you're, you're shooting. Right, yeah, because that's the point of the scene, and that's how you would operate. But, I, I don't mean, get it. it <laughs> Like, okay, say uh, we're, we're doing our, our radio show here, and mm -hmm. uh, if uh, somebody says a naughty word, Sabrina has to hit a button that yeah. gets okay. rid of it. Naughty word button. But if Sabrina hits that button and the building across the street just explodes <laughs> and everybody in it is killed because of the button, oh, and she yeah. didn't know that was going to, I mean, it, that's not on her. She didn't program. You just really mind <laughs> after me just now. Yeah. Funny that would be. <laughs> and then we don't know it, but we go out for work, like at the end of the day, and like, hey, all right, have a good one. Why is there so much police presence if it was at the like building next door? Cox Radio or something. <laughs> Sky high with like papers and stuff coming down, and you're like. Oh. And then we still oh. get in trouble because the actual curse word made it to the air. Yeah. Yeah, well, in that case, we would go, Sabrina knew all of our equipment was hooked up to this dump machine where we say bad words, we hit the thing, and it dumps. We didn't know it was going to blow up the building next door. Yeah, We exactly. didn't know we had a joker on the loose who was going to... There, there can be no culpability. You can't say, well, Sabrina was ignorant of the fact that when she was going to hit the button... That the building next door was going to blow up. No, there would be no reasonable expectation that that ever, ever, ever would happen. They're like, but you didn't do the training module with wiring, especially when it comes to explosives uh, that we do every single year, Sabrina. <laughs> My oh, God. I missed that one. I cheated. Uh, Sour Patch Pete says, I don't know. She still pushed the button. I, okay. <laughs> Jesus, Guys, man. Guys, we not. I feel uneasy <laughs> about this uh, hypothetical. Uh, it's a hypothetical, though. <laughs> Murderer. Uh, Sorry, cops. Yeah. <laughs> you killed the whole building full of people. A monster. Our ratings are through the roof. Uh, yeah, yeah. We you competition. Blew up, just, have one anymore. Blew up all the Cox <laughs> employees. <laughs> All right, this is what they said. A jury convicted a movie weapon supervisor. They're going to hear the end of that, and we're going to have some sort of meeting that we have to address <laughs> the whole bit. A jury convicted a movie weapon supervisor of involuntary manslaughter this week in the fatal shooting of a cinematographer by uh, actor Alec Baldwin. This was during a rehearsal on the set of the Western movie Rust. The verdict against movie armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed assigned new blame in the October 21 
shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins after an assistant director last year pleaded no contest, uh, contest and negligent handling of a firearm. So you already have the cinematographer that's been convicted. Now you have the movie Armor that's been convicted. Gutierrez-Reed also faced a second charge of tampering with evidence stemming from accusations she handled a small bag of possible narcotics and tossed it over to another crew member to avoid detection. She was found not guilty on that, ca- uh, uh, that particular count. She's going to appeal. It carries a penalty of potentially 18 months in prison and a $5,000 fine. Now Baldwin is headed for court in July, and he's facing similar charges here. And uh, to me, criminal charges? um, These were criminal charges in this case, and it was a jury trial. It says with Alec Baldwin, he was indicted by a grand jury uh, on involuntary manslaughter. He was pointing a gun at Hutchins on a movie set outside Santa Fe when the gun went off, killing the cinematographer and wounding director Joel Souza. And he's pleaded not guilty. That would be a huge case. Like, he would serve prison time, possibly, if this came down to it. To me, it's a giant accident. Alec Baldwin was your bunkmate at jail? Yeah. Like, triple take? Like, what? Eh, eh, There's still people. This is going to trigger me to the first um giant screed i went on before i started where when we started the show today and my rant there we're going on a mop mop rant again no 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 oh. i'm not going back to that not going back to uh old uh, matt rife this is something that people still believe where i see it especially online in these different communities where really dumb people join together Facebook, think dumb things Instagram, Twitter, y'all see this? share one brain you have people who actually think alec baldwin purposely shot and killed this woman And I go, Alec Baldwin is a decent actor. But when you watch the video of the moment they told him that she was dead, you can see without a shadow of a doubt that Alec Baldwin did not do this on purpose. Mm -hmm. You can tell that he was shocked, horrified, and mortified at the idea that this person had died and that it was his fault, he thought, for being the person who was holding the gun at the time. Uh, and I'm very surprised that after all of this time, they they found the cinematographer, uh, not the cinematographer, but they found the armorer guilty. And now he very well could be next if it goes like that. All right, in the ring, who's going to win in this battle? Jake Paul, the YouTuber, versus Mike Tyson, the heavyweight legend. Who will win as they face off in a boxing match July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, friends. They have been talking about this fight for years now. I cannot believe it's actually happening. It's actually happening now. It's happening on Netflix, which Netflix is getting more live stuff, huh? They have kind of been leaning into that a little bit. What was um, the what was the award show they just had? I, one of you just watched it. I forgot Not who it was. Screen Actors Guild? He, I think so, yeah. One of those was streamed live on Netflix. We've had comedy stand-up specials that have been streamed live on, on a generally on-demand platform of Netflix. And now you got this. And I know, like normal, you'll have a lot of people wanting to see Jake Paul get his ass kicked. But Mike Tyson is pretty old now. Mike Tyson. For a boxer. Ugh. Yeah, but he's still giant. He's I big he'll still, and, and, and he's also crazy. And also, he did a number on that dude on the plane who tried to exactly. mess with him not too long ago. He has he, that beast still inside of him. It's just yeah. uh, weighed down by the marijuana smoke and good times. Yeah, he, he did him pretty bad. And these fighters sometimes are on a much different caliber than you would imagine, specifically the MMA fighters. I watched a video. Have you guys ever heard of his uh, online personality in the, um, like, red pill space? His name is Sneeko. Are you familiar no. with that? Okay. That's I'm not surprised. Name. I'm not surprised you haven't heard of him. Um, he's just like, what are these people under the pyramid of that Andrew Tate guy uh, trying to emulate him for space bucks? And he did a thing where he got in the octagon with an MMA fighter. And the, the MMA fighter said, you got 90 seconds? I won't do anything. I'll just block. 90 seconds, he just took all the shots, took all the shots, took all the shots. And then he, he proceeded to beat the hell out of the, the Sneeko guy. Makes sense. <laughs> it was Makes unbelievable. Sense. It took him like five seconds. It was brutal. What do you think? Who's going to win? Jake Paul v. Mike Tyson on Netflix. Let us know. Thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. When we come back, we'll get into those dispatches. I haven't played a single one, and now's the time to do it. 
Plus, the sheriff goes, maybe we should change the age for something. What it is is going to really surprise you. And it's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Monsters in the Morning. Russ, if Ryan gets a speedboat, the next day's headline is going to be this. Captain Corn Carney causes carnage at Causeway. Ah, damn, he did it. He did it with that. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. Monsters in the Morning. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on the beach line, causing a bit of delays eastbound between the Greenway and Innovation Way. I believe they're both off to the shoulder. Just travel with caution through there. The on-ramp from World Drive to I-4 westbound is partially blocked due to an accident. The right lane is blocked specifically. You can expect your regular delays on I-4 eastbound between Orange Blossom Trail and Colonial Drive. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic center i'm james birmingham this report is sponsored by mattress firm bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at mattress firm's friends and family sale hurry in to save up to 700 dollars with your extra discount you'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds plus if you see a lower price mattress firm will match it restrictions apply Chances are very good that you're leaving money on the table. So if you got a quote already, then get a free fast quote review at that mortgageguydon.com. Hit the compare button quote and Don will review your quote today. He'll let you know if you got the best deal or make sure you get the best deal. He's looking out for you. I mean, what local business do you know with over 1,000 five-star reviews? Don does five five stars. And that is all for you because he has your best interest in mind. Don is your friend, and he's going to look out for you. He also offers HELOCs, home equity lines of credit, and second mortgages to cash out equity without touching your first mortgage. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote. Peace of mind at your fingertips. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. $5,000. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. New South is Florida's factory direct window company. We manufacture, install, and guarantee your windows for life. One company, one call. Our windows blend energy performance with hurricane protection. New South Window, home of your ultimate Florida window. Buy more, save more. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. 
Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose and repair your electric panel, and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. FrankGayServices.com Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now. Open the free iHeartRadio app and check out these podcasts. History on trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Impossible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts too. And best of all, it's absolutely free. iHeartRadio. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. Emails rolling in all the time, including yours. If you want to be anonymous, just put that right on top of the email. This is from Brandy, and she says, Hi, Sean. You guys have been discussing cruises for a couple of weeks now. Yes, we've been exploring the world on and off and the uh, good and bad things that happen on board. But she says, as a Florida resident in the ability to cruise a lot, with the ability to cruise a lot, simply because you're close to several ports, you can get stupid deals for cruises if you know a couple of things. Firstly, for every cruise line, cruises that are three to four days are the most expensive because people don't have the ability to take a lot of time off, so they're more expensive. Always look for cruises that are five-plus days. You could find great deals simply from this. Secondly, specifically for Royal Caribbean, after you book one of those already good deals, go to the casino. Literally put $20 to $100 into a slot machine, and you'll be automatically placed into the gambling loyalty program, she says. Every cruise line has one. Then you'll, they'll mail you cruises to choose from, and you can get really sweet deals that way. She goes into this a lot longer uh, and uh, tells you how you can make even more savings. But, yeah, I get there's a lot of deals out there. I get it. Uh, the cruise world is a particular place. It's not built for me, but it is built for somebody. So uh, we hope that uh, everybody finds their place. All right, let's go over to you and see where your place on the show is. All you have to do is go to thenewsjunkie.com and record your dispatch. We've been talking about a lot of things. One of them was how they're going to do self-checkout at the TSA station at the airport, which seems weird. The TSA agents who are in charge won't even be there. They won't be present at the airport. You have to like, hit a button to talk to them. What do we self-check-in? Self, yeah, check-in. Self-service? Because, yeah, self-service TSA checkpoints, I should say. That maybe is the best way to say it. But Sean wants to comment on that. Let's see what he says. Yo, what up, y'all? Hey. I think the uh, TSA self-checkout would be great. I mean, yeah, they have that in Amsterdam for the 
passport checkpoints. Yes. Walk up to the screen, scan your passport, take a picture, it goes green, you're good to go. I was able to do it because I wanted to get a Heineken experience and get drunk, which I did. And I ended up going through the passport lane at least three times with three stamps on my on my passport. It was fast, it was quick, it reduced the amount of people working. I think it's a great idea. And they, anyways, the AI is going to know exactly who you are even before you go through anything. Soon anyways, enough. Don't take it easy. All right, so here's why that works sometimes, Sean. I've done this too. If you fly into certain places like London, once you fly into London, you're going through customs, you don't even have to see a person. Like, you just put your passport up on a thing at one point, and then it scans your passport, and then, like, a gate opens, and you walk through. And people go, we don't even need people for this. But that is only possible, number one, if your country of origination is a place like the United States or some other trusted country. Because you've already gone through the security checkpoints there. Now you're just coming off the plane and you're getting into their country. So they don't need to do it again. They're trusting that the United States has good enough security that they know who is on these planes. And they're saying, we'll automate the rest of it going out. If it's your first point of contact, though, you can't do it that way. You have to have somebody to identify who the people are and who the threats are, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's easier on the way out or like being released into a, a country. And you could do that sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't make sense. Here's Nurse Jan. Let's see what she says. Hey, guys. So about the Mike Tyson fight. Mm -hmm. um, Mike Tyson has been conditioned. He's like Pavlov's dog. Okay, He hears the bell, and he begins salivating at the idea of... Punching somebody. Yeah, he does. He gets a little thrilled, I'm sure. And he's got a good chance, but don't don't count out these annoying ass Paul brothers. They're strong. They know what they're doing. They fought a bunch of people who are really high caliber. And Mike Tyson is super old. That does factor in just for like how long he'll be able to last. Uh, let's go over to another one here. Horse face killer is talking about uh, ages to be able to do stuff. I already know what you're going to say. But about changing the age of being a exotic dancer no. to 21 instead of 18. And I, for one, kind of maybe agree with this. Maybe we don't need to be taking advantage of young 18-year-old girls. Really? You know, I don't know. I didn't even see this bill that she's talking about until right this moment, but she's not wrong. Florida senators, so this happened in uh, Florida, they approved a bill raising the exotic dancing age to 21 years old. So this could have an impact on oh, when you're man, able to, to that strip. That sucks. It looking says, forward to the people that were just 17 a year ago. Oh, hang on. It says legislation solely focused on such age restrictions died, but senators amended its provisions into a broader bill. The House passed last month preventing human tra trafficking. Some opponents say it would violate the First Amendment rights of the workers, Bill proponents say it doesn't, framing the restriction as a matter of public safety, yada, yada, yada. So they're trying to limit it so strippers can only be strippers at 21 years old. I don't know if it's a matter of public safety. It's a matter of the safety of the 18-year-olds who choose to go into that profession. But Yeah, yeah, we have a weird setup in not just the United States, but just like in general in society. We have to determine at what ages we're okay with letting people do stuff. So we say drinking. Are we going to allow drinking as a society? Well, we're not going back to prohibition. That was a miserable failure when the religious right were leading the culture wars. That's not happening these days. And that ain't happening. So we go, all right, if people are going to be drinking, what are the guardrails we could put in place? So the people who are otherwise just existing in society aren't impacted by it in any sort of negative way. So you go, all right, we can put some age restrictions. We can make it a crime to drink and drive, et cetera, et cetera. And then when you put the age restriction on, you go, when can we let them drink? Do we let them drink at 18 when we let them enlist in the military? And they go, no, that's too early. That's too young. You have to like kind of find out where is the right age? Where is the right amount? When can people consent to things like sex? When can people consent to get a permanently... Um, changed with a tattoo. There's so many different things we have to figure out in our law. And we, we've got these benchmarks, and sometimes we move them around. And, like, in this case, they go, nobody's going to say, hell no, you can't take the 18-year-old strippers away from me. <laughs> Nobody wants to be that guy. So they'll just roll this through, steamroll it through the system. And 
there does seem to be some sort of problem with underage girls being able to strip, getting through somehow and stripping in these clubs. So perhaps it's something good. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right now. Remember that conversation because after we do the next episode, I want to go a little deeper into this because there's something else where they're going to try to change the age of which you need to be to do it. And it's not what she thought. It's not the stripper thing. It's something else entirely. What is it you're going to find out? All right, when we come back, the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up on the next episode? Oh, turns out the K and K-pop fan stands for k k k crazy after one K-pop star has to apologize for dating somebody. Chris Harrison is back, baby, and hosting a new dating show, but it's the cable network that is the most dramatic, huh, yet. Plus, Harrison Ford is being haunted by one thing, even while another thing is inside his dark side. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey, Central Florida, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we're expecting a gorgeous day. Make plans to be outside if you don't have them already. We'll plan for an afternoon high of 81 degrees with a mix of sunshine and clouds. As we head to our Friday, we'll expect a few more clouds overhead. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 80s by this weekend for Saturday. Breezy, a high of 89 degrees with evening shower and storm chances. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's friends and family sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you go to go with the experts you gotta go with carrier and you gotta go with millsair.com that's where i got my system i absolutely love it and you got to make sure you do maintenance on your ac system they do service on all brands of ac and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money you can count on millsair.com how do i dad here's something i do i write a letter to my kids every month yep i write a letter and send it to my own house i'm pin pals with my own kids i know it sounds silly but they love it. I don't write anything crazy. Just tell them I love them, ask them questions, whatever. Normal stuff. But when it shows up in the mailbox, I'm super dad. Write your kids letters or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. McDonald's McCafe Ice Coffee wakes you up like the perfect song. The 100% Arabica beans get your head nodding. Yeah, then the cream drops like a smooth bass line. Uh-huh. Add some ice to chill it down. And some French vanilla flavor. There you go. Or change it up and go with caramel. Either way, it's a stone cold classic. Start your day with a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee available during breakfast hours only. Music to my ears. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. My day just flows better when I make my first stop McDonald's. I can choose two faves and save big with a bundle of savory sausage McMuffin or flaky sausage biscuit with crispy hash browns for breakfast for $2.79. Or I can make Mickey D's my last stop. Lunch, dinner, a late night snack perhaps. When I bundle a crispy McChicken or juicy McDouble with delicious small fries for only $3.69. Now my day is made the tastiest way when I bundle and save at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid with product served. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. 
and the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. This sun season, Banana Boat is giving you a new way to spray. Introducing new Banana Boat 360 coverage. Better control for better coverage with a reusable sprayer and refill. From sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. Shop Banana Boat 360 coverage on Amazon. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wasi'smeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Make your dream of a new paver's driveway, pool deck, beautiful patio, and artificial turf a reality with Paver's Depot. Join us at the largest paver showroom in Central Florida, over 400,000 square feet in stock, including Tamron brand pavers. Paver's Depot can get your job done in just two weeks with a free estimate on custom installation. Visit online at paversdepot.com or or call 407-839-5900. 407-839-5900. PaversDepot.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Join us Monday night for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by the Hartford, live at South by Southwest. We'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and celebrate the most innovative talent and creators in the industry. Listen Monday night, starting at 11 p.m. right here. Presented by the Hartford Small Business Insurance. Learn more or start a quote at thehartford.com slash business. With insurance designed for your small business, the Bucks got your back. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Real High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. This- you, we know you got lots of options on the radio or wherever else you're enjoying us, and we appreciate that. Uh, it's us, it's the news junkie that you've chosen here today. You learn more about the show by going over to the website, thenewsjunkie.com. You can create an account there. It's free to do, and that's how you join in on the action. You can interact with other folks who are a part of the show, just like you with your dispatches. They're doing the same thing, and it's nice and easy to do. You can also figure out what's happening with secret shows, a way to get some more access, uncensored and a weekly show that we're going to be recording tonight. So if you're a Secret Show subscriber, make sure you're paying attention. You can even watch live in the Discord information about that all up on the website in my account. Once you're signed up, click that Connect button for Discord. Boom, you're ready to go just like that. All right, uh, that's all said and done, and I want to toss out another warning for you because we are tick-tocking our way up to Just OK 8, March 16th is not that far away anymore, and we want to make sure that you are there hanging out with us. The event is sponsored by Mills Air, our great friends over there, including Leon Mills. Love him. 
Love Mills there and love that you're going to be able to hang out with us at this event. If you get your general admission tickets right now, go to realradio.fm slash just okay. Realradio.fm slash just okay. Let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV and you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? I'm not going to spend my life being a color. Do you agree with me? Nothing. Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. That Mortgage Guy Don dot com. Uh, you might have heard me earlier say five, five, five. And hmm. that's the amount of stars he has for over 1,000 reviews. That is unheard nice. of when it comes to local businesses. And on top of it, when it comes to refinancing or buying your first dream home, instead of being treated like a number, which sucks, you get to be treated like a friend. That mortgage guy, Don, he's part of the Real Radio family, and he treats his family the best way possible. Get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust. Go to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat, come pay your quote with that mortgage guy, Don.com. It was a mere 127 years ago, 1897. A doctor by the name of John Kellogg. You might. Be familiar with oh, yeah. his cereal, I've and it was it. this cereal right here. Eating some cornflakes for breakfast. Cornflakes. Cornflakes is right. Point for Sean. Doctor John Kellogg on this day served the world's first cornflakes to his patients in a mental hospital in Battle Creek, mm-hmm. Michigan, and they said, "We love it." And why is your face melting on one side? And uh, the rest was history. It was 13 years ago, 2011, that also some. History was made, and that was this guy's career on Two and a Half Men. Uh, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen is right. Yeehaw. And no longer worked for Two and a Half Men on this day. Uh, winning, I believe, was the phrase he used. True. Tiger blood. He um, is not involved in this latest list from Forbes, but all these people absolutely winning financially. Money, money. Forbes released their list of the highest paid actors of 2023 and at number one, which is very strange because I don't think they had a single movie in theaters, uh, was Adam Sandler. Oh. Adam Sandler is number one for the highest paid actor of 2023. It's it's probably that Netflix deal, I would guess, still. Guess how much he made? Um, Last year? Uh, Fifty eight billion dollars. Now it's worth mentioning, unlike the previous year's endorsements and any non entertainment investments were not factored in. Okay. To this this number here, but it's Netflix that Adam Sandler can thank for seventy three million dollars. Not bad. Mm. Seventy three million. Uh, Margot Robbie made fifty nine million at number two. Tom Cruise forty five mil at number four. It is a tie. Matt Damon. And Ryan Gosling both got $43 million. Jennifer Anderson at 42. Another tie at number seven, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jason Statham. Did we ever talk about Spaceman, the movie that uh, he's in? I don't know if we brought Ooh. if I brought it's, that up. It's uh, number one on Netflix right now. I, I, uh, it's Adam or brought, yeah, Tom Cruise? It's Adam Sandler's new movie, and uh, I wanted to watch it, but we just didn't have enough time last night. Yeah, I watched it with Courtney like last week, I think, or maybe this past weekend. She was not super into it at first. Is it serious um, or is it funny? It is serious. There are moments of funny, but it's not like uh, what was the Gemstones one? <laughs> uncut, uncut Joms. Joms. Uncut Joms. I was <laughs> it's not like, It's not like Uncut Joms. It's, it's different than that. I thought it was pretty interesting. I think it got a little bit full of itself at one point when trying to like describe the beginning of everything. But uh, it's a, it's about a dude who goes out into space Doo-doo. on on this mission by himself, and he um, I don't want to spoil anything, but like he encounters an alien when he's oh, out there. Okay, all right, and, well, and that's it. that's where I'll leave. It was pretty interesting though. Um, this is right here back on Earth, and uh, we know that we, of all people, love our sports, right? Sports. 
Yeah. Huge fans. Mm -hmm. Live, breathe, bleed sports. And we know a lot of people who are absolutely obsessed with sports. Yeah. Now, remember that game back in, what was it, January? January 13th, to be exact. It was the Chiefs and it was the Dolphins. And the temperature was negative four degrees. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, it turns out that these fans love their boys and big skin so much so that they are now risking their extremities. There's reports that there were dozens of people treated for frostbite last year for yeah. that game in particular. Negative four degrees with a wind chill of negative 27 degrees at kickoff. It was the fourth coldest game in NFL history, the coldest Chiefs game ever. And around 70% of those frostbite patients are now being advised to schedule amputations. Oh, man. Oh. Just for okay. wanting to go watch their football One game? One game. And I, I just text uh, my friend uh, Arturo because he's like, I'm, I'm, we're thinking about going. Why not? The tickets are so cheap. Maybe we can get a round, round trip flight very cheap, too. I'm like, thank God you didn't go or you wouldn't have a hand to text that back. To not me. worth it, Could for you God's sake. imagine dealing with that? And then anytime somebody asks you, like, hey, what uh, if you don't mind me asking? What happened to your fingers? And you're like, <sighs> or to think Dolphins, Bills. <laughs> for the next season, uh, you're going to go watch your favorite team, whether it's the Dolphins or the Chiefs, and you go to oh, high Chiefs. five after uh, a touchdown, and you don't have yeah. fingers to high five. There was one guy who took his gloves off for five minutes to and put up enough? a tent, and that was enough for him to be suggested uh, to get Boy. an amputation. So Whew. is it worth it? No, I don't think so. Man, cold weather is different, man. <laughs> It really yeah, is. I'll take, brutal. Sweat. take your glove off for five minutes. <laughs> and then you lose your hand. Yeah. But the tent looked great for sure. And I'm sure there was some sort of uh, pitched tent when it comes to a former stripper who claims that she kissed Prince Harry. Ooh. And now she's threatening to post uh, never-before-seen nudes of him because of one particular reason. Um, her name is Carrie Royale. Perfect stripper name. And she has vowed to post the nudies of Prince Harry onto her OnlyFans adult subscription site because Harry didn't mention her name in his memoir. And that's oh. not fair. Come on, just one mention. Yeah. We'll have Let to deal with this. Wild guess. Does she have some sort of OnlyFans to promote these days? Oh, or of no? course. No, that's where she's oh, going to she pose, pose these pictures for, okay. for everyone to pay for. But it works out. I've never released these pictures before out of respect. But now that respect is out of the, out of the window, and now it doesn't matter. He's a bloody idiot. These pictures have never been seen by the public. I have poolside pictures of him before the night. Shots of Harry in the buff people will be shocked by them. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Um, like, I don't want to be too harsh here, but when was it that she was hanging out with him and all this happened? Like, how, how much time 2012. Is this was, um, she claimed she kissed him. It was 27 at the time, out in a night at Wynn at Las Vegas back in here's, 2012. This is her, for those of you on YouTube and Twitch, the uh, C-Lane, this is her when they were hanging out, oh. apparently. All right. And this is okay. her now. Oh. It, it just doesn't even look like the same person. No. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure she still knows what she's doing online. It's like, that's so interesting that that's her picture now. Yeah. Considering the promotion of an OnlyFans. It's like a very conservative blouse. Yeah, she's like covered up in, in a blouse. And, but she's still posing with these underwear that I guess the prince has left behind. My God. Uh, but yeah, she is big mad that she was not mentioned in the memoir. And those nudes may be out soon. Um, say what you want about the Swifties or the Barbs. Maybe the Beehive, the Bayhive. But it's nothing compared to K-pop fans. And this is a very strange story to me. Mm -hmm. I saw this. this. This weirds me out a lot. Karina from the K-pop group Aespa. Aespa. Mm -hmm. She had to apologize to her fans after they found out, and brace yourselves, she had a boyfriend. I know. I know! You're only dating us forever! At least that's what it feels like. They were very, very angry. Some of them even parked a truck out in front of the group's management agency with an electronic billboard that said, is the love given to you by your fans not enough? 
Yeah. Those yeah. Coyote right. ugly rules. Right. That's weird, right. man. That's super parasocial stuff right there. I know. So be sure to get your tickets. RealRadio.fm slash just okay because we're not going to have crazy fans like that. But we do have some big announcements, that's for sure. And maybe a digital billboard. I'm not sure like, if we I've seen that a, email. Uh, I've seen a lot of relationships like this. And when I say relationships, I mean them loosely. Like not the even... intense fans. Yeah, yeah. And when you see it for, like, streamers or for what we do or for, like, movie stars or for various different things. But these K-pop fans seem to be on another planet. Well, because that's... there's so many of them. Because we in the last 10 years, almost 11 We've had some crazy, crazy people that have listened to the show, but that's like one oh, person. D- definitely. Right? Well, well, Every small once numbers in a while. Of, yeah. Imagine small numbers thousands. of lunatics. I think there's so many that it's likely that a bigger portion of them are crazy, but it's weird that there is an overall sentiment, if with any extent of your audience, that you're not allowed to date anybody. Which is insane to me. That's like, why did you weird. choose to betray the fans? Please apologize directly. Otherwise, you will see a decrease in album sales and empty mm-hmm. concert seats. So she did apologize, uh, surprising you greatly, adding that she would show a more mature and hardworking side in the future. Imagine how awkward that is for her boyfriend. Yeah. Or perhaps you might see her on uh, the latest show from former Bachelor host... Chris Harrison. Oh. Most dramatic ever. The most dramatic comeback show. ever. He's finally making a comeback. Did you see this story too, Sean? No, I did not. This is, uh, I find this to be just the most bizarre cable network that this new dating show will be on. But Well, last we heard, wasn't he doing a podcast on iHeart? Yes. Uh, yeah. Was it the most dramatic podcast ever or something like that? <laughs> something like that, yes. Did anyone listen to it? I did not. No. I'm sure that <laughs> you whatever can listen we to would... millions of podcasts on iHeartRadio, download it now. Thank you. Whatever we would want to hear, like any of that juicy details that he would be able to offer us in, in podcast form, are mm-hmm. probably just locked away in the biggest of NDAs. Yeah. So, yeah, according to Harrison, uh, this big comeback, returning to TV for a new dating show and a morning show mm-hmm. on Dr. Phil's new Dallas, Texas cable network. Wow. Yeah. This is pretty specific. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How does Dr. Phil have an entire cable network? Wait, is, is the cable network only available to our friends in Dallas, Texas? I believe so. So, we need everyone who's listening in Dallas. Let us know how this goes, please. Partner well, I mean, with uh, McGraw's I mean, Merritt Street uh, Media Network for the New Deal. I mean, even Imus got on like a, a, a cattle raising channel that was oh. nationwide. <laughs> cattle raising channel? He got, he, uh, Imus, when he got booted for the, the, the hose thing, and then uh, when he came back to radio and to TV, they, they got him on this channel that was Imus in the morning and then cattle auction all day. <laughs> RFD or something like that. What are, what are we doing wrong here? Uh, he agreed to McGraw's suggestions that the new show will differ in variety and scope from the Bachelor franchise, and that's all the information we have. For legal and, reasons? And Yeah, exactly. And for the new morning show, Harrison will team up with his wife. Okay. So there you have it. Not only will I get to return to television, but I get to do it with the women I love. Looking wow. forward to that. Dallas? And uh, finally, I will give you this. Uh, it is not in Dallas, unfortunately, but this will be in a beautiful town where this guy grew up. Well, the main guy who is no longer alive. Oh, uh, Motorhead, Lemmy. Uh, yes, Lemmy is right. And the town where he was born, they have approved a, a Stoke-on-Trent City Council giant-ass statue. Yeah. Stashew. It's kind of like a cashew, but you can't eat it. Uh, where he grew up, real name is Kilmeister. Me... Kilmeister. Ian Fraser. Ian Fraser Kilmeister. He was born um, before his family moved to Newcastle under Lyme. So. And uh, <laughs> whatever, man. I'm, uh, my brain is mush. No, you're real fine. Realradio.fm slash just okay. And just know that the mush has gone all towards this event that I'm looking forward to. But uh, there was a concern about the police and how many people were going to show up for this giant erection of the statue. <laughs> but it shall be there. And it's not his first statue, by the way. But there's another oh, yeah? one in California. It's not his first erection. <laughs> I imagine. I mean, he is dead, though. <laughs>
It is his last. So yeah. Yes, yeah, true. Mm-hmm. On the boob tube, speaking of erections, the State of the Union address. Yeah! Be on all major networks, the streaming pre- uh, premiere of Poor Things on Hulu. That's the Emma Stone movie that Celine paid for a week ago, and now I don't have to. And the series premiere of The Gentleman on Netflix. Ricky Martin will be living La Vida Loca on Fallon. And you, follow your dreams, and me on Instagram, at Sabrina Ambra. Most importantly, stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. When we come back, we've got yet another one of these stories about, like, what age you should be to do something. And nobody is talking about this. I'm really interested to dive in. It's not strippers. It's something else. And it is coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. There's a couple accidents off to the shoulder now. Still causing a bit of delays. I-4 eastbound at Saxon Boulevard. The left shoulder's blocked. I-4 westbound near US-27. The shoulder's blocked there. And where US-192 meets 1792 in the Kissimmee area, there's heavy congestion. Travel with caution through there. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Bike Week is here. Make Orlando Harley-Davidson part of your Bike Week plans. Orlando Harley-Davidson has the largest selection of new and pre-owned Harley-Davidson motorcycles in the state of Florida. Make sure to stop at Orlando Harley-Davidson during Bike Week. Enjoy food, exclusive merchandise, pinstriping, tattoos, music, a full bar, and so much more. Visit OrlandoHarley.com for a full list of motorcycle inventory and Orlando Bike Week details. Stop by the Orlando Harley-Davidson dealership right off I-4 across from the Mall at Millennia. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ross. I'm president of New South Window. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Ah, winter, with its cold, dry air causing that not-so-nice winter nose feeling. Thankfully, you don't have to wait for warmer weather to clear sinus congestion and send winter nose packing. All you need is Navage Nasal Care. Navage helps soothe the inflamed nasal passages that are often part of colds and infections. It flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your sinuses to give you the soothing moisture you need. Navage also sucks out the other irritants trapped in your nose, viruses, dust, bacteria, and germs too. Winter might feel like it drags on forever, but Navage works quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. No decongestants required. Navage is a drug-free solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today and make winter a little more bearable. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Clean nose, healthy life. Paid for by Health Choice Helpline, LLC. Please visit healthchoicehelpline.com for terms and conditions. What's going on? Listen to this. I just got a zero-cost health plan where I get a $500 health credit to cover my costs, so I have more money for things like rent and groceries. Wait, how'd you get that? Easy. I called the Health Choice Helpline and found out I'm eligible. How do you qualify? They just ask you a few questions, like do you make under $50,000? Are you under 65? And are you not on Medicare or Medicaid? Then they check your zip code. That's so easy. I'm calling now. Call 800 943 51 right now to see if your income level and zip code qualifies you for a zero-cost health plan that covers all costs for things like prescription medications and doctor's visits. You could even find a dental plan. Plus, get a 
dollar health credit to cover your costs so you have more money for things like gas, groceries, rent, and utilities. It's fast and easy and only takes minutes to see if you qualify. Call 800-943-5161. 800-943-5161. 800-943-5161. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. How do I, Dad? Here's something I do. I write a letter to my kids every month. Yep, I write a letter and send it to my own house. I'm pen pals with my own kids. I know it sounds silly, but they love it. I don't write anything crazy. Just tell them I love them, ask them questions, whatever. Normal stuff. But when it shows up in the mailbox, I'm super dad. Write your kids letters or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. The game of magnets, taking over the world one terrible person at a time. Joining the show, you've listened for long enough. Now it's time we heard your voice. Those dispatches coming up in a moment. But we heard earlier that there was some law that they were just about to push through where exotic dancers, a.k.a. strippers, would have to be 21 years old in the state of Florida. And I'm sure, like, you can argue that up either side of the tree if you wanted to. I, I could say, um, shouldn't an 18-year-old who has been dealt a bad set of uh, cards be able to, in an emergency, become an exotic dancer to fund her college and make her life a little bit better. Oh, yeah. And then you can say, well, Sean, what about the underage women who aren't even 18 that end up getting into these strip clubs? And it's often uh, the beginning stages of them getting addicted to drugs. That's still going to be a problem. If you move the age, there's still mm -hmm. underage people. Unless right. the stripper age is zero. Right. And then you would have to say, what's the real question we should ask here? The real question we should ask is how old should you have to be to be able to make an adult decision that you wanted to take your clothes off at a strip club? And I, that's a question that nobody has the right answer to because there is no right answer. There's only the answer that you think is the right answer. You can make a million different arguments. You can say, like, 21 is actually not old enough. Because this could have a really, really detrimental impact on your life. So now we're going to only let people let, do stuff that could negatively impact them into when they're 30. So 30 is the new age, right? Like You can make all sorts of arguments all for right. this stuff. R.I.P. strip clubs. <laughs> strip clubs are only 30-year-olds. There's four people in there now. That's not what I'm talking about here, though, in this case. This is how old do you have to be to be a sheriff's officer? Ooh. To be and a... Like a police uh, officer in general? To be, or a, to be a police officer in general. A deputy. A deputy under the law. And I bring this to you because of this story. Okay, this is from WPTV. They say, after a 19-year-old Indian River County deputy was arrested on child porn charges, what? the sheriff said 
his former employee could face more charges. His name, Kai Cromer. He was arrested Tuesday. That was the day after he was sworn in as a deputy. The day after what? he was sworn in as a deputy. He, he gets arrested for this child stuff. He said, it's a sad situation. We don't want to arrest any of our own. We want it to be a situation where He's all barely your I'm own. sorry, that was their statement. It's that a sad situation. Yep. We don't want to do it, but we had no choice because of the child porn. Yeah, Is we... there not some sort of background check in which they could have seen that from a million miles away? I guess not, according to them, at least. It's a sad Jesus, situation. Man. We don't want to arrest any of our own. We want it to be a situation where all cops are good people, but unfortunately there are some bad apples out there. The second He's we identify an them. Apple. He was a seed two years ago. We have to nip it in the bud, he said. Uh, it's unfortunate for the person that he thought he could get away with something like that, says a local resident. Uh, they said his the investigation into him began when a student recognized him during a tour of Vero Beach High School for new police recruits. A <laughs> student's like, hey, I know this guy. They say he was telling other young girls that he was a deputy. He's going to be a deputy. Send me your photos. Send me these photos. He's essentially forcing them to do it, not giving them a choice. You know, it's not Wait, the right saying thing that he was about to be a cop? Yep. That's yeah, the reason said, why? Jesus. Yeah, and he, he got the girls at the high school to send him nude photographs. And then they sent him, uh, they got a warrant for his arrest, and they, they ended up uh, arresting this guy. Um, he was terminated from his position, blah 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 blue. But he was 19 years old. And I would argue, if we're moving the captain the age, went into the jail cell to fire him. Oh, did he really? Yeah. He just pops in. You're fired. <laughs> Just to turn around and out of there. If you got to be 21 to smoke for now, which they're going to keep making older until they get rid of cigarettes entirely, uh, that's just the stage we're in. You can't really push back on that too much. Damn it. And to drink, you got to be 21. To be a stripper in some states, you got to be 21. But to be a sheriff or to be a deputy, you could be 19 years old. Uh, let, let me be the first one to put my foot down and say, hell no. I don't want any teenagers in law enforcement. Sorry, hard no, not going to do it. I don't, I mean, imagine getting pulled over by a 19-year-old. They got flown by one. I would rather be flown by one. He was 26. Then, well, he looked really young. <laughs> he really did look young. But this says, Sheriff con considers raising the deputy hiring age after a 19-year-old was arrested, right? This this new officer at 19 years old. was There should be no 19-year-old officers. Sorry. No 19-year-old police officers. 19-year-olds are, your your brain is just there enough to do certain things. I'm not here to take tattoos away from you. Although, look, it's probably a good idea to do so. 19-year-olds make lower incredibly... Back. That's why I would say what I'm saying. 19-year-olds uh, make incredibly stupid decisions because they are now adults and they're in charge of their lives even though their brains are a pile of mush and jello. They have no idea what they're doing. They think that they're a lot smarter than they are. And it's not until you're in your very early 20s, 22, 23, 24, 25, you start realizing what's going on with the world. And that, I think, is why it's fair that the drinking age is 21. I think we would be fine to raise the age of military recruitment to 21. I would be absolutely fine with that. You're more aware of the implications of the decisions that you're making at that time. But to have a cop under 21 is insane and unacceptable. And there's no way in hell we need this. I don't know if they need cops that bad. Are they having I mean, that hard of a hiring issue right now to get officers Probably. that they need 19-year-olds out there? Santa says, They'll take uh, the volunteers, though. You have that whole group uh, mm -hmm. where, and much appreciated, I would rather if you're really wanting to become a cop, even at a young age, and you go as far as to be a volunteer cop and you're learning sure. all the ins and outs, I imagine you're going to be a lot more trained than obviously some people who just take one test and there they are getting arrested on child porn drugs. You can't Wait, you can't just go be a volunteer cop off the street, right? No, I just know uh, it's a lot of high school kids, but they're getting the, like, early training, the credit that I they need. I, anybody could volunteer for, like, the community policing stuff, can they not? Or, or I don't know that you would a have to have neighborhood watch, a... maybe, but you can't, you can't just, like, off the street go, I want to volunteer, and they hand you the keys to a cop cruiser. 
Oh, are no, 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 no. There would be big differences between when you were actually a certified officer of the law. Right. Sure. I, I think the thing for me with the 19-year-old being a police officer is, uh, am I wrong in saying that there's not a lot of uh, work to do to get to the point where you're on a beat and you have your own cruiser and you're pulling people over? I don't think 19-year-olds are pulling people over by themselves. I'm sure that there is. I think a, we would hear a lot more stories from, like, you know, pissed off people who just got right. a speeding ticket. I mean, I, if a 19 year old's writing parking tickets, I'm fine with that. But I'm I, say- I understand what you're saying. You're saying the runway up to actually being a cop it's, on the level that I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, imagine you're you're in school to be a doctor, and mm-hmm. you can't be an 18 year old doctor because you got to be at least seven years in school. But there are some. Uh, at some point, there's going to be a really young doctor that still has to go through. You know, all sorts of internships and, and, and things where they're not, they're, the sole responsibility is not on them to save your life. Sure. So yeah. I, I, w- I would be okay with a 19-year-old cop if they have to be a partner for a while, if they have to do grunt work for a while. Yeah, if they're sort of on a, um, what would you call it, like a probationary period before they were Correct. full-fledged cops. But I don't know that they are. are you I didn't get to blade? walk in here and just uh, be on a radio show my first day. Uh, I had to sit through some boring-ass paid programming. It was close. Uh, La- or, I'm sorry, all day, are you a shadow blade? Excuse me. It says just make everything 25 years old. Uh, That's an option. Stone Assassin says hiring's an issue. That's why so many agencies have sign-on bonuses right now. BDMX Con says, no, it's a few weeks, uh, not months of training. I just, there shouldn't be 19-year-old cops. I'm sorry. Like, there shouldn't be 19-year-old officers of the law. Make it a different position where they can start to learn about things. No, like, 0.1% of teenagers actually know the laws that they'd be enforcing to begin with. So, my God, is that a frightening proposal for me. And... (sighs) We're learning here that they're far too close to the, the high school age girls that they want to get naked photos of, uh, utilizing their their limited power to even do that. So I don't know. That seems weird to me. The, the juxtaposition of these two results in my Google search that I searched for minimum age police officer, how to become a police officer in Florida in nine steps. And above it, how to become a police officer in Florida, six steps. <laughs> oh, wow, they cut it down. I like that. It they makes have, a lot uh, fast easier. track the, uh, the process here. Uh, okay, we're going to hear from you. Let's work in some dispatches right now and see what you got on your mind. Uh, here's Guitar Slinger. He says 21 for everything except for this. Okay, so you got to be 21 to dance in a strip club. You got to be 21 to smoke a cigarette. You got to be 21 to purchase alcohol. You got to be 21 to get a gun. Oh, no, wait a minute. They're backing up on that. You don't have to be 21 to get a gun. That's what they're pushing for. Well, 20, you don't have to be 21 to get a gun right now. What are you talking about? You could get a gun. Uh, you could get a, a rifle, I believe, at 16, I think, 16 or 18 at the latest. And then handguns, I think, might be 21 years old. And I think that varies by states uh, to some extent. I don't know. Somebody will correct me on that, I'm sure. Um but I, I don't think it's the case that there is like some sort of giant push to um, bring gun gun ownership to younger and younger levels. Maybe for certain crowds, but I don't think that's like a big public sentiment thing going on right now. All right, uh, Bruise Traveler is talking about age limits. I guess you were talking about uh, strip clubs and the under the age of 21 thing. And part of me agrees with that. But then I remember when I was 18, I thought, you know, I'm 18. I should be able to do whatever I want. Face tattoo. Or that girl's 18. She should be able to do whatever she wants. But also you gave me an idea, and you see, I think there should be a strip club based on one of the more popular uh, adult film categories, and that's... Uh, Where is this going? Stepmom slash MILF. Oh. Yeah, oh, no one under the age of 35 okay. working this strip club. You know, I'm kind Just- of amazed now that he says that. I'm kind of amazed that nobody's done a theme strip club like that. Maybe they have. I just am not made aware of it. There is one. Where is like, do they have a strip club where it's all old people? Yeah. They have an, there's, I believe, one in Tampa where it's like really? the oldest strip club and no, strippers. No, no. Like, yeah, okay, oldest like strippers. Older strippers. <laughs> so that's what it I'm talking about. Was that or New Orleans, something like that. Somebody help me out, but it does exist, and it's a sight to oh. see. 
Let us know. To tell us about this. I want to learn more. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. And we are live on the air still, Sean. <laughs> That's not how we normally go to break. Celine was telling me to go to break. I was going to break. <laughs> I went to fake break, not real break. <laughs> oh, you got to get a real break now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit it. In three, two. Are we sure about this? Now I have to send an email, and I was thinking about the email at the uh, same time I was saying that. And all thought processes mm-hmm. shut down. I'm excited. I'm going to hit it now, okay? No, no, no. I'll get you there. Here we go. Okay, folks. Uh, when we come back, Jamie Fox. Well, radio is on Instagram. <laughs> Monster. I'm just going to hit it. Jamie Foxx coming up for sure. No, Jamie Foxx is coming up. There's other stuff coming up. More of your dispatches coming up. It's all (laughs) coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Two right lanes are blocked, heading westbound on I-4, approaching U.S. 27 due to an accident. Travel with caution there. The left shoulder is blocked on I-4 eastbound, approaching Saxon Boulevard. Around the perimeter of I-4, traffic is up to speed on 429 and the Greenway. No major problems on Florida's Turnpike, but if you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Kissimmee. Your tax refund goes even farther at Mattress Warehouse. Save up to 60% plus get 0% interest financing and free next day delivery. Come in sleepy, leave happy, and save more. Only at Mattress Warehouse. Use code REFUND to save an additional 10%. Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year-round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got, uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. Why are you dressed like a hockey goalie in our living room? Well, you know how I said that we really needed to save more? So you're dressed like a goalie because you make saves? Yes. Maybe we should just go to Navy Federal Credit Union. They have tons of great savings and investment options like share certificates with sky-high rates. Oh, what a save! <sighs> Grow your finances with the official military appreciation partner of the NHL, Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured, not obligations of Navy Federal and may lose value. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Cracked or worn out bottom rubbers and seals expose your garage door to bugs and other pests, dirt, debris, and cold air. A1 Garage Door Service can replace old bottom rubber and seals in no time. And don't forget about all the moving parts of a garage door system. Wheels get old, cables fray, grease runs out, and tracks move, putting excessive wear and tear on your garage door system. Don't wait until there's a problem. Call A1 Garage Door Service for all of your garage door needs. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Because the garage door is the smile of your home, don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Hey, let's get out of here. 
With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. Like, ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people let's a do another eight here. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. This ear full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. iHeart Podcast Update. This week on your free iHeart Radio app. Math and Magic. Stories from the frontiers of marketing with Bob Pittman, Season 6. Join iHeart Media Chairman and CEO as he analyzes the math and magic of marketing, sitting down with today's most gifted disruptors. Marketing School, digital marketing and online marketing tips. Actionable digital marketing lessons learned through years of being in the trenches. Office Hours with Mike Stive. Mike sits down with the world's most important chief executives to answer your most pressing questions about leadership career and life hear these podcasts and more on your free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts new south window solutions made in florida for florida homes by florida workers visit newsouthwindow.com forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos So many distractions. Ah. Same man. Gotcha. God. Uh, I've been working on this website stuff, and it's like, holy cow, 8,000 layers of incredibly complex stuff that runs the website. And then I got to figure out how to, like, transfer it from one development team to another development team. And it's like I'm trying to send emails in the middle of the shot. I, all right, I got to stop with all this. Stop the distractions and focus in. Uh, because I did want to talk about something that, that seems to, like, keep happening out there. And the first thing I want to say is Jamie Foxx, just like everybody else, there's no requirement that he tells anybody about anything in terms of his medical life. 
I share a lot of stuff like that because I'm just being a weirdo and just like starting conversations. So I'll go to the doctor and I'll be like, here's what they said about this test. But when it comes to like any kind of celebrity or famous person or not famous person, you don't have any right to know anything about their medical life situation. Or their results, life, really, if you think about whatever. it. Whatever. Whatever uh, they choose yeah. to yeah. tell you. People, people could share with you what they want, and people should be absolutely allowed to keep things private if they want to. Arrest. They don't owe you anything. I also think this is a foolish thing that people do with, like, political opinions. Like, no! You must have a stance on this. That's a big thing right now. It's like, whoa! This is a genocide. You must have a stance on this. It's like, whoa, buddy. This is like a really deep thing that I'm not connected to at all. This is I'm a knitting allowed. podcast. Why yeah. are you asking me for my opinion right. on that? This is a Wendy's. I like. I, I do not need to have an opinion on every single incredibly serious issue on planet Earth. I don't need to choose a side. I don't need to do any of that stuff. But all that said, Jamie Foxx, when we go back and hit reverse a little bit, he had some sort of health scare, and we all remember he was in the hospital. There was people, like, visiting the hospital to say goodbye to Jamie Foxx and his deathbed. And then all of a sudden, Jamie Foxx was doing better. Then he was released from the hospital. All this happened when he was in the middle of filming a movie, I believe, with Jennifer Aniston. And it was, like... Horrible Bosses 3? I don't, I don't think it was that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It wasn't Jennifer Aniston. He was in the middle of filming a movie with um, what, Cameron Diaz oh, is who wow. was filming a movie. That was a big like, comeback. She was coming yeah, back, her, huh? Her, her big comeback movie. And they had to get some extras and stuff and, like, you know, uh, dupes to stand in for Jamie Foxx. Kim Kardashian had a big comeback movie. Hey. I heard about that. I heard all about that. Lots of wipes. But, now he's doing this thing again, again, where he's being super vague, like your, your, your friend on Facebook. And he takes to the stage at the African-American Films Film Critic Association Awards. He says, cherish life, man. I have some people in my life that really made sure I was here because it was dire straits. So I value, I'm telling you, my daughter thinks sometimes I'm too thankful nowadays because I'm just so thankful. I drink some water and I say, wow, have you tasted this water? It's so wet. It's the wettest water. Was it like this before I passed away? And he was like inferring that he had died previously. And he keeps talking about things saying medical complication, medical complication. Again, all that's fine. But it's a little bit screwy that you're going to do all that and then go, if you really want to know, Watch my documentary that's coming out where I finally unveil what my medical malady was. And that's what he's doing. And when I look at that, I go, oh, I don't know. All of a sudden, this starts to feel a little too promotional to me, like too much of a plug. And it's as if you started telling me that there were some bad things happening in your life and ended it with the link to your OnlyFans. And I, I, at that point, I thought... I don't know how I feel about this necessarily. So he's still hinting about this. And now they've been saying it. Keep your eyes open. There's a special coming out where he's going to announce what truly happened to him last April in 2023 when he was in the hospital for that stretch of time. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let us know. Or even following, following this anymore, uh, go over to the news and send us a dispatch. Now, meanwhile, there's an 11 year old boy. Kid is 11, oh and they said he almost died because of, of course, they blame it on a TikTok challenge. Why not? Facebook. Easy Instagram, way to do it. Twitter, y'all see that? TikTok dangerous. That's the easy way to do things. And they said this mother has taken to the very same platform to share some surprises she learned about. And she said her young boy, Tommy Lee Billington. That's was a hell of found, a name. He sounds fancy, this little guy. He sounds like uh, a drummer for Motley Crue. Tommy Lee Billington was found unresponsive at a friend's house on Saturday of last week. And it was because he was taking part in a dangerous craze they call chroming. Oh. Any guesses as to what the hell that is? Chroming. Chroming. Okay, well, I think obviously if chrome and the mm -hmm. shininess of it all was he trying to melt aluminum foil. Melting aluminum foil. Onto is... something or his body parts to chrome it out. 
Yeah, that seems like something that kids would do on TikTok. Like that or something go, called grooming. But I'm did you see Dave? Like, like when we used to put the gum wrappers around our teeth, it looks like we have grills. I did it <laughs> all like the time. That. But with your whole body, you just chrome yourself out looking like the Tin Man. That's a guess. Uh, it's not correct. But what do you think, C Lane? Um, so they're not making themselves look chrome. No, they're, they're just not making it in in the way that Sabrina was suggesting. I would say. Okay, so they're spraying some sort of. Chrome spray all over themselves? Mm, you're very, 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 very Are they close. spraying it in their mouths and breathing it in? Yeah. What they're saying, they're acting like it's a trend on TikTok. It's just huffing. Oh, okay. They're huffing paint. That's what they're doing. Little kids Why are huffing paint. Why is it called paint. chroming now? Sometimes they use the chrome paint to do it, which oh. makes you look hilariously guilty uh, yeah. afterwards. Oh, like and that, insane. Like that classic mug shot of the dude with the, fa- <laughs> the, the, the gold face. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's obvious that you do it. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> so they said that this kid went into cardiac arrest and damn near died right there. They had How to bring much did him he back. chrome? He chromed a bunch. And this is where somebody inhales toxic chemicals such as paint, solvent, aerosol cans, cleaning products, or even gas. And uh, in this case, uh, the young kid ended up uh, dying. And at 11 years old, for God's sake. But this is not like, I hate when they say trends. Like, oh, it's a trend of chroming. It doesn't tell enough to the people who just see headlines, which is so many people. But were they doing this on TikTok? I mean, do you get on TikTok and just get high? And I mean, I don't even think you have enough. Time in the video for that to be fun. Again, I think it's like blaming TikTok for another thing. This huffing thing has been a problem forever and a day. And you should warn your kids, don't huff stuff. It's super, super bad. TikTok can be taken out of it entirely, I would think. I don't think that that's necessarily a huge part of this. What do you think? Let us know. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Send us your dispatch right now. When we return, uh, the uh, jury duty segment has arrived, and it's a big one today, folks. We got some stuff to get into for sure, including big updates in Alabama about IVF. Good news for some folks at the very least. And we'll hear from you. Your dispatches are on the way. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. Top rank Houston clinched a share of the Big 12 regular season title in their first year in the conference after a come from behind victory last night. Stetson, they'll try to advance in the A-Sun Tournament Finals tonight when the Hatters face Jacksonville in the semis. And over to golf for the PGA Tour's Arnold Palmer Invitational is now underway at Bay Hill. Kurt Kitayama will be looking to defend his title. I'm Scott Davidson. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms? It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden Duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. My best dad tip. Okay, one time our power went out and we couldn't watch TV or play video games or whatever, but we still had the best time pulling out flashlights and building a fort in their room, telling stories. So last week, I just turned off the main breaker and yelled, power's out. (laughs) I mean, why wait for a storm? Just make the fun part happen yourself. I mean, you can do it tonight. Dads, try this idea or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. 
Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose, and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park and apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on Busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navaj. Navaj offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navaj so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage nav A-G-E. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations like the Vinyl Experience. Just search Vinyl Experience and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah! Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Online only. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's Friends and Family Sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. Find your new career. The Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 13th at the Orlando Science Center. More info at fljobsnow.com. Forever 
at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. around the country in just a moment for the sexiest stuff and right now it's time for us to go where we belong the most and that is in the world of sports yeah, friends baby we know sports we love sports we do sports around these parts i dream mm. of sports all day it's the only thing i can think of right now sports, sports. Sports. In my brain. Sports. And one of the main figures in college sports right now is Miss Caitlin Clark. Oh, who yeah. Is, the, the, the basketball player. She's the basketball player in the NCAA Division I League, and she's going to be headed for the WNBA draft. And one of the things I saw about her was her contract is going to come as a surprise to people and not a positive one. And they're suggesting like, oh, yeah, you think she's going to make some money. Wait till you hear what it actually looks like in the world of WNBA contracts. And the first thing I was looking up on her was they have the NIL valuation for her. And that's name, image, likeness. And this is new. Like college kids who played sports, they used to, you know, they weren't allowed to make any money. The colleges were allowed to make tons of money off of you, but you weren't allowed to make any money whatsoever. And now they've made it so you have some sort of value. You can get some deals and stuff using your name, image, and likeness, maybe in video games, like just various different things that you might end up in. And Caitlin Clark, in all of college athletics, is, I think, number four. Yeah, she's number four in all of college athletics. Like the history Her, of? Uh, no, currently of oh, everybody. Okay. Well, the history is now because they just started doing this, right? So, like, she is the fourth highest in terms of NIL name image likeness valuation at $3.5 million. And I'll talk about what she's supposed to be making in the WNBA in a second. And then why that doesn't matter that much, but she's fourth in all of college behind Bronny James, which we all know just by the name, this is LeBron James son. And of course he's going to be a major figure. I thought you were calling LeBron Bronny. No, Bronny James, the the actual player who is dad is LeBron James. Mm -hmm. He is number one on this list that tells you how much your name, image, likeness is worth in in, uh, college. And then Shador, or however you say his name, Shador Sanders, which take a wild guess who he's related to. Bernie Sanders. Not, not Damn Bernie it. Sanders. It's more sports I thought than for that. Sure, I was going to get that. No, Deion Sanders. His oh. Deion Sanders' kid. So you got two heavy hitters right there. And then I didn't recognize the third biggest name in college sports, and it's Livy Dunn. And then I Googled her name and I go, oh, okay. I recognize her. Look her up. L I V V Y D U N N E is the third most valuable in terms of what they can make off their uh, college name. And I was thinking like basketball so hard that I didn't realize she's the gymnast. She's that mega famous gymnast. Oh, right. she was the one that... Um, she made the moves, right? Like, she was the one who like... What the, the guys, remember the guys were like hounding her? Like other gymnasts were going outside and they were like yelling because they it, was, it wasn't Livy. Like, uh, it was the reporter that was a former gymnast, like a former Olympic gymnast, mm-hmm. and she was doing commentary for this meet. And when she went out to this crowd that was waiting for Livy, they were, like, going nuts that it wasn't her, and they were like, this is toxic masculinity. And oh, It was weird, man. It was very like, weird. I won't, I, won't give it, uh, I won't take that away from them. It, they, there's such a big fan base for this young athlete, female gymnast, based almost solely off of her TikTok presence. And uh, and and it's really made her a big star. And so fourth behind those three people is this Caitlin Clark, this basketball player. And they said she would, even though she's one of the best college basketball players of all time, she would potentially earn less than $80,000 in her WNBA rookie contract as the top pick if she was number one with a bullet. Uh, They said rookie contracts in the WNBA typically last for about three years, and then the team can option a fourth year. 
the salary for rookies in the WNBA is determined by their draft position. And they said for the first year, it's between 64,000 to 76,000. And you get about a thousand dollar increase each year. She's expected to be the overall first pick in the WNBA draft, which would mean she would make $76,000 per year. If she was the WNBA rookie of the year, she would get a bonus of $5,150. If she was selected to participate in the all-star game, she would get $2,500 extra dollars. So uh, if you look at the WNBA, if she was the absolute best player of all time, she would start making about, if she was lucky, $82,000 a year. And they compared that with the WNBA with people making hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Um, and that's fair, except for when we look at somebody like Caitlin Clark, she's not going to make $85,000 next year. She's a huge name. She's going to get lots of very big sponsorships. And I hope she invests it because uh, it just doesn't seem like you could be the most viral person when it comes to college basketball, women's college basketball, and then... Mm-hmm. We don't hear much from the WNBA after that. No, it's a little sucks. slow, but maybe this adds to it because people have been rooting her on like crazy in college full, uh, college basketball. So that would be one big thing for her. But even if she only got that much money, she would make millions, millions of uh, dollars uh, 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 uh. in all of the side work that she would be doing, so to speak. Uh, BDM XCon says, wow, so the NBA is just keeping all their profits or does the league run at a huge loss that is covered by another sports league? Perhaps that may well be the case. Yeah. Not enough people in the stands for these games, but I'm telling you, there's been a lot of dudes in particular that I've seen have followed her career. A lot of women as well. A lot of people who have watched her out there playing college basketball. If it's gotten my attention, it's gotta be pretty big out there in that world. All right, here goes nothing. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. We love our friend Mo, and you are going to enjoy working with, uh, with him. After an accident, you pick out your attorney, and boy, are there a lot of them out there. So this is kind of a big decision for you. So make sure you're making a smart decision. 866-CALL-MO. That's the smart decision. Mo isn't going to treat you like a number in a spreadsheet. He's not just looking for you to be the next person on some billboard he has. He wants to make sure your individual case is handled the right way and fight for as long as it takes to get what you deserve. That's what matters. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. Desolate Soul says, unless you're Brittany Griner, I'm pretty sure she does fairly well in in the league as far as WNBA deals go. But they said the number one highest paid player last year for WNBA was Erica Wheeler, and she made two hundred forty two thousand dollars. I'm so, sorry, say that one more time. That's numero uno in the WNBA. Erica Wheeler of the Indiana Fever made two hundred forty two thousand oh, dollars. That's I mean, chump change for NBA mm. players, is it not? Oh, on average, <laughs> NBA players on average. Keep in mind, on average. Uh, NBA players make more than $10 million every that's year. That's insane. <laughs> On average, WNBA players make 116. So wow. that's just, that's a big difference between that. 116,000? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't that still more than Josh Purdy? No, oh, he was in the, the 800s. Yeah. I thought. He, oh. Yeah, he was still very high up there. He was just not that high when compared to yeah. the other quarterbacks at his level. Uh, it wasn't like he was down in the five-figure zone or Brock anything. Or uh, that guy, yeah. Uh, there is an update on the IVF situation that we've been following oh, here in bad, courtrooms. Alabama decided to say that frozen babies are babies nonetheless. Frozen pre-babies, you might say, even. And they said that they deserve the same rights. And somebody smashed some of them up, so they had to bring all of this to court. Now, I still haven't run into the person who's behind this or who agrees with this. Every Republican I've talked to, every Democrat I've talked to, everybody I've mentioned this to is like, yeah, that's stupid. I'm pro in vitro fertilization. The beautiful babies. Yeah, Trump, Trump's for it. Biden's for it. Like, I have not found the person who supports the move here to say that IVF is something that we should block or make harder. Those are interesting things, but... I haven't met that person who defends them just yet. 
But now we got some progress. Facing pressure to get in vitro fertilization services restarted in the state of Alabama, Alabama's governor swiftly signed legislation into law on Wednesday this week, shielding doctors from potentially legal liability raised by a court ruling that equated frozen embryos to children. This was approved in the late night session. They said that now this is a short-term measure so that doctors can't be sued and they'll put them back to work doing this IVF stuff for all of their patients. From there, they got to figure it out even more. They got to enshrine some things into law, but at least you got to start here where families who are waiting for this can get some help. Uh, okay, let's get to a couple of dispatches real quick and we'll see what you got on your mind. Just like funny name who's talking about the WNBA. People that are going to cry about WNBA uh, salaries, if it's so damned important, rally the troops, get people to watch it, get the attendance up, mm -hmm. make it a desirable product. It's a good product if you watch it. I'm not an avid fan, but if you watch it, it's a good product. The problem is it's just not popular. Do you expect the owners of the teams just to shell out money uh, that they're not going to get reimbursed by attendance? That's why LeBron James excuse me, and other players are able to make so much money because there's that much in attendance and that much in TV rights and sure. uh, merchandise sales and things like that. If you're going to bitch about it, you better be having season uh, tickets to the games or otherwise shut up. Yeah, I, I don't think you're wrong on that. I think that the, it's a problem that you just have to address at some point. You have to say if your sport has enough eyeballs on it, if commercials cost enough, if your league generates enough money, then you will be able to afford higher salaries. Makes Otherwise, sense. the people who are athletes in your league are going to depend on having outside revenue coming in, like whether they have social media presence and their influencers or other ways to make the, the money that really probably pays a lot of their bills. But you have to understand that the uh, source of all of this, something people failed to understand for a little while when all the crazy social justice stuff was going on, like there are things that seem like the same job that just aren't working in the WNBA and working in the NBA are not the same thing. Those are different organizations. They make different amounts of money. It's a different pay structure. They're very, very different, even though it seems like it's the same thing. So you have to compare apples to actual apples. If you're trying to say there's some sort of pay imbalance there, I don't think that's popular. I don't think a lot of people are doing that right now. Uh, man kicking has something for us. Let's listen in and see what it is. I don't know. I think they should ban that mom's TikTok account uh, for speaking out against natural selection. Hmm? I mean, Who's? if these kids are going to be that dumb, oh, the, uh, the let them get on chroming. going on. Yeah, I mean, I imagine she's oh, well. quite upset considering it's her child. I would not blame her for that. Let's do this one. Afflicted is talking about the Sean glitch. Let's see what Afflicted says. What's up, junkies? Hey. Uh, the next time Sean has a little glitch like that, and forgets mm -hmm. somebody just needs to go we're still live in the news junkie back to you sean no. uh, <laughs> you know what okay. you know what would have happened if nobody said anything i would have just sat here in my head for i saw a it on your weird face amount of time. and honestly I was, I was just finishing up something myself but because of my brain and my any sort of dead air i looked at you and i'm like something's going on something's happening and you could see you were just Right there, press buttons. <laughs> well, hold on. Well, did it go? I'll, I mean, I'll everyone who heard my live read earlier, my brain had a huge glitch. No, no, and no I'll bring the curtain up. So first things first, if you hear me say, uh, send us your dispatches, we want to hear from you, go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch right, right now. now. That is a stopping point for our syndicated show, The News Junkie Weekend Edition, which is on radio stations all over the Southeast. Okay. And that's a stopping point. So that when Sealand's editing that and sending it off to all of our affiliates, they don't end with the same thing that I end with before going to break, or maybe I'm going to do a tease afterwards. Right. So I'm going to say coming up next is this, but that tease not is not coming up be, next for them. No, it's not going to be next for them. So I'm used to saying that and then pausing for a second. And then I do the real exit out of the break and we're good to go. But as I did it, I started to think, okay, she's going to hit the break now. And I was like, mm -hmm. now i got to send an email to the developer and make sure the website is accessible when the firewall is set like this. And I, I did just it started. earlier this week. You did one of your stop stills very much uh, for us to have a point for the weekend. 
Mm-hmm. And we were supposed to continue on with the segment for everyone else listening. Was yeah. Alive. I went right. right to commercial. Yeah. Like a damn robot. <laughs> it's, and that's then how it hit happened. all of the buttons and then Cox exploded. Right. It's just, look, it, there's a lot of things going on. So all you see, like, not even paying attention right now. Big Doug Millionaire says, huh? enshrine it into law, Sean says, like Roe versus Wade. Yes. You, you have a brain. I know you do. I've seen you around long enough. The problem with Roe versus Wade wasn't just that it was enshrined into law. It was that it was focused on not anything to do with a fetus or child or abortion. Privacy. Roe versus Wade was the privacy of, of the person getting this um, procedure done. And they said that that didn't hold up under the Supreme Court. That's what the decision was. So now you need the people in Congress to go back and go, actually, this thing is protected under the Constitution, and we're passing this law. And then the Supreme Court would go, okay, there's not much we can do about that, unless we find it unconstitutional. Quick break. When we come back, go into the movie theater. Seems like a fun time. Yeah. I do it all the time. But sometimes there's folks watching out there. Mm. What do I mean by this? Wait until you hear. That is coming up next on the News Junkie. Orlando City returns to Inter and Coast Stadium to host Minnesota United FC this Saturday. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Authorities are clearing up a couple accidents off to the shoulder now. There isn't heavy congestion. Just travel with caution in these areas. I-4 westbound at US-27. The left shoulder is blocked. I-4 eastbound at Saxon Boulevard. The left shoulder is blocked as well. And the off-ramp from I-4 eastbound to US-92 is partially blocked. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by the Florida Department of Transportation. Hey, listeners, before celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year, remember to plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Don't let your luck run out. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. It's March. And the countdown continues to just okay eight. Spend your St. Patrick's Day weekend with the three best friends you never knew you had. And some of their best friends, like Baby Sloth, Young Tapes, The Shaboom, Savvy's Little Helpers, and a band from Sean and C Lane that has yet to be named. So obviously they put a lot of thought into this. Just okay eight. Saturday, March 16th at the Plaza Live. Presented in part by JustCallMode.com. Get your tickets now at realradio.fm slash just okay. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from SolarSource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110 level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. 
If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Grab the beer and battered fish and chips for the light and fresh fare that never skimps on flavor. This beer battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries. Score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lite or Coors Light for $12 every Friday from now through Easter. Or grab them with a soda or tea for just 10 bucks. Twin Peaks eats, drinks, Scenic views. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy in main tour event with a million dollar guarantee. The adults only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis, and pickleball events. Happen started just fifteen hundred dollars per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. Let's talk real risks and real safety for a sec. Right now, banks are juggling debts under the radar. Commercial properties, cars, credit cards, they're owed on. It's a bit much, right? Makes you think about the big 08 crash, but there's a smoother way to handle your finances. I've turned to gold and silver. Traditional? Sure. Reliable? Absolutely. Not just shiny objects. Some stability in these uncertain times. Interested in exploring this path? Noble Gold Investments can guide you. They know their stuff about price precious metals for IRAs and 401ks. And here's a little nudge. A quarter ounce gold standard coin free with a qualifying account only this month. Invest with the folks at Noble Gold Investments. Claim your free gold coin and secure your family's financial future. Just use the promo code GOLD. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. noblegoldinvestments.com. Best performance may not be indicative of future results. Investing in precious metals, including gold, involves risks. Consult with your tax attorney or financial professional before making an investment decision. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from ethos a better easier way to get term life insurance all online with no medical exam answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to two million dollars isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security ethos up to two million dollars in coverage with no medical exam some policies as low as a dollar a day answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. that's check ethos.com you can live out your master chef dreams when you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. I had my first kid at 19, and this is going to sound strange, but the best advice I can give to other young dads is stay. I wanted to run away. I wanted to just keep living my own life, but I chose to be her dad, and now I'm, uh, I'm glad I did. I can't imagine my life without my daughter, and I can't imagine making her grow up without a dad. Dads, today may feel hard, but it's always the right choice to be a father first. As America's largest injury law firm, size is our strength. Morgan & Morgan. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Three best friends diving into the deep end of internet culture. And I'm so interested to see what, like, the next year or so looks like. Because 
Whilst we've had the, the invasion of Ozempic or whatever brand you want, Wegovy, any other kind of thing out there, we've seen this all over. We saw it in Hollywood first. They secretly were doing this stuff. They didn't want to tell anybody else about it. And then the comedians started doing it, and all those fat-ass comedians started to get real sleek and skinny and good for Which them. Which comedians were fat? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, what's that guy's name? Robert? Oh, he's... Um, he's a big comedian right now, and he was huge. He was like 400 or 500 pounds. But said that he did Ozempic? Yes. Okay. I think he admitted uh, that he was using Ozempic to lose this weight. And I hadn't seen him in maybe six months or a year. And all of a sudden, I see a photo of this guy, and I go, son of a bitch. He Damn. lost so much weight. And it was pretty stunning to see that. Um, I'm bringing up the wrong person. Hold on. Wait. Fat loss. comedian. Yeah, I don't want to search it in the room. Robert Kelly. Robert Kelly is the I person that who name. watched all that much money. Now, he, I think he might have gotten, like, some other stuff done, like maybe the gastric sleeve stuff, too. But that guy, he was the first person in comedy that I started to see shedding, 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 shedding all the pounds. He did it. So he got weight loss surgery. Did he? Okay. But I, right on the right on the edge of that, all these other comedians, you start to see them just dropping weight like crazy. Impressive. Good. Good for everybody. Oh, he looks yeah. so different. Doesn't he? Pull it yeah. Up? Yeah. Um, all right. Hang on. Let me see. Some people uh, have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you never heard of this me. guy? No. I, I've he, seen him. Uh, Robert Kelly is his name. And I, all don't I know can if think I can of is the guy who died. That was massive. No. And then no, no, no. Fluffy. Both of those, not the name. Fluffy. Uh, all right. Here's. Did you look up Robert Kelly weight loss? He yeah, that we looked probably. at? Probably. Okay. Uh, he's. Yeah, he's just so much smaller than he was. Here's what he looks like nowadays, oh, I think. okay. Here's gotcha. what he used to look like. like he was yes. a big boy, and he's dropped an absolute metric ton of weight. Like, now, even this photo is starting to look it's kind so of strange. <laughs> he looks like an emo singer or something. He's getting so thin. And this is happening looks for like he's all. He's about to play uh, Billy Corgan in a biopic. <laughs> The reason I said uh, comedians is nice. because it seems to go into, like, vectors of life. Like, it, it goes into um, the Hollywood types. It goes into the comedians. It goes into uh, people who are in finance. And I goes watched into... uh, the Real Radio, uh, Real Radio, the Real Housewives reunion uh, that mm -hmm. just aired this week. And it's, yeah. like, four of them that did not need Ozempic. But it is very clear that they have gotten that help. Yeah, and they are sticks. This is the step under the really, really, really rich ones that Courtney tells me about. And the ultimate rich person move, like the Kardashian move is you just get all your fat cells removed and then you don't yeah, have but fat then you anymore. have like you don't have fat. But if you start to get fat, then it starts to go in weird places and like bunch yeah. up. And it yeah, and then you have to remove it from apparent. there. You have to keep chasing it around wherever it goes. Because then yeah, all of a sudden your body has no fat. It's like a Dr. Pimple Popper kind of thing where they just Ew. like to slice you and so squeeze the fat out of it. <laughs> you just got one little part right here with all the fat coming out of your neck. I told you guys yeah. I, I was uh, the DD uh, version of taking someone after a liposuction home. Like I was uh -huh. their driver. Yeah. And for some reason, doctor came out and was like, all right, she's ready to see if you want to come say hi. And it was the room that they did it in. Yeah. And so next to the person who's coming to, I see the vat of fat and oh. I will never forget that vivid image. Like I got to blink my eyes and it, I mean, it's really impressive. And that person didn't necessarily. Did you take a bite? No, I saved no. a little bit in a jar. And then <laughs> when I turn 60 years old, I'm going to take a shot of it. See, like, what's wrong with you? Uh, it's really weird. But all these things are just happening regardless. And the reason I bring all this up is I said we're on the other side of the rainbow here. Some people who are going over to these so-called miracle drugs like Ozempic are taking them, are losing crazy weight, and then they're on the other side of it. And here's an example. Claudia Oshry says she's been dealing with extreme hunger ever since going off Ozempic which helped her lose over 70 pounds, which is pretty impressive. I've been off Ozempic since November, and I'm so hungry all the MFing time, she said. She says, I'm always looking for treats. I'm still trying to lose weight, but on my own. But her hunger is just insurmountable. She says, I cannot stay full. It's impossible. 
I had a 12 ounce steak, a 12 ounce steak, and I'm starving. So I'm eating popcorn and a bunch of people who are losing all the weight after using these Ozempic type drugs afterwards are like, Oh damn it, man. When I stop taking it, it rushes back in. And then you have to re- think, is it worth it? And I still think it's probably worth it. I still think it's such a good shortcut to drop significant amounts of weight that it's worth it. And you would have to, because one of the problems is this, and Celine, tell me if you know anything about this and uh, chime in because you've been on uh, some diets before. Yeah. Um, the reason I, I know, is I know it may not look like it for just a uh, first glance. <laughs> oh, no, buddy. It does. Come on. Uh, I, I dropped a bunch of weight and uh, now I'm like, I put half the weight back on. I'm annoyed by all this myself, but anyhow, so, um, when it comes to losing weight, if you do it with Ozempic, I think it's a little bit different because if you start like low calorie diets, eventually your stomach will shrink which is a key part, I believe. That's what the, the weight loss surgery does. It shrinks your stomach. Yeah. It, and like, there, so it sections off a portion of your stomach. Just to, That's the only stomach you get. Yeah, and that's all the space you have. So picture your stomach in your head right now. Picture your stomach as the size of a pillowcase. <laughs> all right? If your stomach is the size of a pillowcase, if you go on a low-calorie diet, the experts say, that slowly but surely that'll shrink into like a couch cushion and mm-hmm. then slowly or surely it'll shrink into like, you know, a Ziploc bag. Little pocket. Yeah, got a little thing. And then when you eat, you don't have the big giant uh, bag to fill up to make you feel like you're full anymore. Uh, Does but, your brain know? Well, that's a thing. It, from what I hear, if you do Ozempic, it doesn't shrink down your stomach like that. So I'm, that's odd. I, I wouldn't know why. Like, um, I, I only know a couple of people on an Ozempic or, or some glutides right now, but I, 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 I don't know anybody who's gotten off of it. I think. Yeah. I, that's the thing that a lot of people are learning. I, I think like the, the going on it is awesome and it works really well, but the going off it is a little more difficult, the getting off. but yeah, the getting off it. Uh, the, the point being that every single diet that you see is going to have these yeah. pluses and minuses, I think. Riddle me this, though, and Ozempic uh, further talk is I heard that the burps are the most foul-smelling oh. things you've ever smelled in your life. So unconfirmed, but would love to confirm later on. I, I have, have that. not witnessed that. No? Okay. I, I've had that with the low-carb stuff, though. Have you had that with the low carb stuff? I, oh, I, 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 I knew when it was working if I woke up with really bad breath. <laughs> I, like, I, I, could, like, I could taste you, it. You burp and you walk into the burp and you're like, oh, God. Ah. Hor- you horrify yourself. It's no good. Uh, all right. We want to hear from you. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Hit record on your first dispatch right now. Continue. Okay, God <laughs> damn it, you scared me again. Because I teased that the theaters were watching us, so let me pay that off right now. And what I want to tell you is they're watching you, folks. Oh, no. So be careful. This came out on a social media post with somebody who works at a movie theater in the UK in their case, but I think it's the same almost everywhere. And they said, this is what it's like from my point of view. And they showed a screen with a um, like mesh of all the security cameras that were looking into the theater and you could see into the dark and you could see all of the people that were in that theater at the moment. And I think a lot of people think they're more private than they are when they're in one of these movie theaters. Well, are we, are we saying that people think that because they're doing Stuff that they would not do in public? Yes. Doing one of two things. Like Either sexy doing things? Some sexy things, maybe. Or doing the, like, you're going to record the movie and try hey. to pirate it on some kind of website move. In your opinion, what do you think they're looking for the most? Piracy? Sexy things? Piracy. Drugs and alcohol? Piracy, I think. I think that's their biggest concern because it was out of hand for a while. And... There was all these like copies of movies getting out too soon. I just think uh, I, I don't know why there is still a market, and I, it's the, the the people that are watching these things. It's your fault. There's still there's a market for movies, like pirated movies. That the the method of capturing is to bring a, a, a camcorder or something into a movie theater and hit record and point it and at it, the screen. It is so such, bad, such terrible quality. I can't watch oh, movies again, like that. You get like the 
most up to date I found. And you set it up right. Still. Yeah. You really, I, I feel like it would be very close, though. It'd be it's, nice. It, it's close. And it's closer than it used to be. But it's still enough to take you out of that movie zone. I don't know what you call that. Do you understand what I'm saying yeah. when I say that? Mm-hmm. Like, when you go to the theaters and all of a sudden you get sucked into the vortex. And <sighs> you're like, you're just watching the screen. You're just into the story. You're just into the movie. That is an experience that you don't get as much if you're watching some sort of cam film thing. Not nearly as good. Uh, We do want to say something here because somebody who is close to the show and a big part of Just OK 8 will be celebrating something today. What's that, Sean? A little something called Radio Michael 7's birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right, folks. Oh, yes, it's your day. I hope that and it's okay. He's taking the reins behind the scenes over at Just OK 8 to do all the things that keep us on track, make sure that we're doing the things we're supposed to do, make sure the right people are on stage at the right time. I should have had him on earlier so that he could have told me I was practicing that song wrong. Oh, right. He could have just hit me with a stick. So no, what, what I did for his court. birthday was give him 5,000 things to do for Just OK 8. So happy oh, birthday, I Michael. I thought you were going to say $5,000. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't my, have that. I can my send God. over 15. You are really hooking him up today. Uh, RM7, happy birthday. happy birthday. We love you. Love you, RM7. Appreciate you. We have to and celebrate, though. His birthday plans got all screwed up. So What happened? What happened to the birthday plan? It was supposed to be a big comedy show that was already rescheduled from, like, last year, earlier this year. And then he yeah. got an email, um, night of birthday, that it is completely canceled. What so the hell? Like, there it ruins my birthday plans. And I go, we will make up for it as soon as just okay. I wish you were happy birthday. <laughs> Wait, wh- why did the co- the comedy thing get canceled again? Um, I don't know. I imagine it's because she has a new late night TV show. It's that um, Thomas who is it? Thomason Taylor Taylor Thomason gal. Oh yeah, yeah. That's one of the okay. I hadn't seen her anywhere, and then all of a sudden I'll go, "What's Damn. going on with her?" Because you could tell when somebody's getting a late night show on a network, they just they're like, "Boom, boom, everywhere." Boom, like, She's funny. Though. Imagine yeah. how many yeah. she had to fit. You know. Oh, my well, God, it's Elaine. <laughs> That's just Matt. The problem is this, okay? Everybody has tuned out of the late-night shows, and those who haven't have definitely tuned out of the shows that are on after the late-night shows. I don't know that the marketplace for that is going to bear any of this much longer. Like, Car- remember Carson Daly did... He didn't do the the late show. He didn't do the late late show. He did the show. Call. Yeah, he did like um, the show after. And people would stay up, and there would be some amount of people who would tune into this still. Yeah, because they had nothing else to watch. And there wasn't a lot else to watch. There wasn't a lot of these YouTube channels. There wasn't a lot of the streaming providers. None of that stuff existed. Now, the most people I believe watching shows, even like last week with John Oliver or something. Um, I think most of those people are watching that stuff afterwards as opposed to tuning in live. And the late night shows, man, when's the last time somebody goes, oh, did you guys see Kimmel last night? Or did you see Stephen Colbert? I keep, I, a, I keep a couple of them queued up in my DVR so that it, like when I'm just kind of, like if Ashley goes to bed and I'm doing other stuff and I don't have anything that I have to watch, I'll just mm-hmm. throw some stuff up there. If somebody um, interesting is on there, I'll yeah. watch them. Makes sense. That's a tough, She tough says, Taylor Tomlinson bite. says it's uh, due to ongoing health issues. Oh, well, really? I, I was just guessing, so I apologize for no, false information. It's weird. It says I need to prioritize my health itself. right now. So this doesn't. All right. oh, yeah. Happy mm-hmm. birthday, Michael. I mean, she could consider, uh, at least consider Radio Michael Seven's life, too. It's his birthday, for God's yeah. sake. And she could buck up and get out there on the stage, yeah. but I guess that's not happening. Real quick, I wanted to share this with you because it annoyed me, so that, therefore you have to be annoyed, too. Got it, got uh, I'm not going to let you guys uh, just escape that. Have you seen the millennial couple video that is bouncing around online right now? There's so no. many of them, though. Okay, I hate it. Um, <laughs> okay. I hate this video. It makes me hate all couples, well, just in general. It. Uh, it makes me hate everybody on the internet. All right. And you're going to see why in just a second. I don't think either one of you will be able to say with a straight face that you like the girl in this. Oh, the guy. Either one of them. Here we go. Hello. So today I have my hubby here, and we're going to talk about how we met. Well, Snookums, I love him so much. Get closer. 
First, mm. we need a sippy sippy. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Do you like one? Okay. So we met in a... Tree. No. Coffee shop. Thank you. We met in a coffee shop. Okay, <laughs> first of all, why do they look so much like each yeah. other? Yeah. I mean, this is a bit. You know that, right? This is a bit for her account, but I think they're really a couple. I think they're, really they're actually a couple. A couple. They're, they're making fun of millennial couples. There's no way that they're serious. Uh, I don't think this is actually how she talks. I think she's she's saying POV, like, you know, millennial yeah, couples yeah. sharing how they met. And I think watching this, you go, oh, God. Uh, there's so many things that I see in this video that irk me. And the idea that they look so similar that they shouldn't be dating is <laughs> one of my tough. favorite <laughs> Instagram accounts. And I stand by it until oh, yeah. it shuts down as siblings or couple. Yeah. Or there's a reason week. why that. It's great. There's a reason why that exists because there's so many of these that pop up and you go, wow, my God. Uh, and even as this uh, viewing this through the lens of being a bit for Bianca, um, Scaglione. Bianca Scag Scaglione, I still can't what stomach awful it. awful last name. I still can't I was the barista. It. He was Le Customo. And of course, my barista name was Senorita Awesome. <laughs> what did he say to you? What would you like today? Uh, I can't anymore. Mm, no. Of course, he says, I want a coffee. <gasps> and what kind of coffee did you get, baby? A hot one. This a is, hot one. <laughs> uh, this is hard to get this. through. It is, Stone but, they, you know, it's, there are real ones like that, which is really insane. Like, Stoned Assassin on Twitch says, I don't think it's a bit. She's super effing weird. I refuse to admit, like, I think this is her gimmick, but I refuse to believe that she actually behaves like this when the cameras aren't on. For everybody's sake, for all parties involved. I, I can't deal with it. Uh, oh, my God, I saw this. I want to kick her in the face. <laughs> Just refrain, please. Refrain from doing that, if at all possible. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about a robot because I'm always watching what's happening with technology. And this is a first in the world of robots that you're going to want to hear about. And it's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Authorities are clearing up an accident on State Road 46 eastbound near Central Park Drive. The left lane is blocked. There's a couple accidents off to the shoulder on I-4 to watch out for. Westbound at US-27, the left shoulder is blocked. Eastbound approaching Saxon Boulevard, the left shoulder is blocked as well. And the shoulder is blocked on I-95 northbound between LPGA Boulevard and State Road 40. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by the Florida Department of Transportation. Hey, listeners, before celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year, remember to plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Don't let your luck run out. Did you know that Mortgage Guy Don does a live radio show every Saturday? That's right. Each week on Saturday mornings, he answers your questions live on the air on 104.1 and simulcast on 96.9. Don is a true part of the Real Radio family, and he takes care of your family. That mortgage guy, Don, is a friend, and he has your best interests in mind. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote today with an expert, a friend, a family member that you could trust by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent a 
an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Everyone understands that when you buy more, you should pay less. It's called a volume discount. Hi, this is Earl Ron, president of New South Window, and we would like to make and install your windows. New South offers volume discounts for homeowners. The more you buy, the more you save. Our discounts start at the fourth window, and from there, the savings grow. New South can do this because we own our factory, and that's the power of Factory Direct. Award-winning, energy-efficient windows that will save you money and protect your home. Our windows are made in Florida, for Florida homes, by Florida workers, and we guarantee them for life. Visit us at NewSouthWindow.com. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. As a military dad, I'll admit my first deployment didn't go great for my kids. I wasn't ready. So every time I'm gone, I just focus on doing small things better. I schedule video calls during their dinner so we can still eat together. I read books they're reading so we can talk about them. (laughs) I send them an email every day. It just takes a little effort, but it's worth it, guys. Dads. Duty matters in and out of uniform. So choose to be a father first today. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Owen. I'm a cigarette. Do you like being a cigarette? No, I don't. Not really into killing thousands of people. Sorry, no filter. Right. What's your sign? Uh, Pisces? I'm a cancer. Cigarette joke. But seriously, I do cause cancer. And heart disease. And strokes. I could go on forever. Unlike the people who smoke me. The average smoker lives 10 years less than non-smokers. Quit today. Find out how at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. Love podcasts? Pull out your phone right now. Open the free iHeartRadio app and check out these podcasts. History on trial. Only 30 minutes to put her body in the well. Dateline NBC. The first big clue in the mystery. Mission Implausible. The means to keep down what was then called the third world. Listen today on the iHeartRadio app. More than just the best radio, it's your favorite podcasts too. And best of all, it's absolutely free i heart radio do you have ac needs turn to the experts at carrier go to millsair.com three best friends diving into the deep end of internet culture emails the show she says hey sean i just wanted to share that i've been watching a show that i think you would enjoy it's called death and other details and it's fantastic it's a murder mystery type series with tons of twists in it i just thought you would like it says Catherine. i have not seen that but i do appreciate the heads up thank I've heard you of it. Have you? I haven't seen that even on like any of the the top lists. I forget I, what it was on, but I think it might have been like a maybe on our list at one mm-hmm. point. I, I, yeah. I don't know what it's about. 
Well, there's a docu-series right now that I've seen a ton of stories about. Uh, and I thought for a second that it might have been the place that Courtney went to when she was a kid. Um, but it's about Rehab? like this. Well, like it's a disciplinary school. Like, oh, she had to go. She calls it wilderness when she talks about it. She's like, oh, oh I no, was in the wilderness. Oh, I've been to uh, I've been camping like adjacent to a place where they did that for boys. It was um, uh, funded by the people that were behind. Remember the drugstore Eckerd? Yeah, yeah, of course. Throwback. Yeah, uh, so the the guy that, uh, like, owned that was big into, like, funding these, like, uh, second chance kind of things for troubled youth, and they had camps, the Eckerd camp that they would go to, which was basically, like, a sentencing to boot camp for, instead of juvie. An alternative, yeah, and it makes sense. There's, like, room for that, I think, but the particular one that Courtney went to, uh, one time when she had posted about it, because somebody asked a question when she had posted about it on Reddit, she was like, well, here's my experience. And a bunch of people got really mad at her because they were like, no, this is what happens. And they're like, oh, oh okay. so the brainwash work for them. Yeah, like whatever. I think it might have been the other way. I think she like she hated this place, but I think that there were some allegations against them. And she's like, well, my experience was this. And the people got really mad. And she's like, oh, my God. So she just deletes it. That's how she is. She's like, I don't, this is whatever controversy is going on here. I mean, also, you're like, do you have time for it? No. Good you know, God. Yeah, you're in that moment, and it's like, I am better off deleting that comment because I will I remember to go back in two days and, and follow up? Probably no. Not. Or if anybody no. goes to your, I mean, you follow up if you get notifications about it, but like months or even a couple of years down the road, if somebody finds your account and go, oh, what else does this person comment about? And yeah. then you see, like, oh, oh there was Whoopsie. some stuff going on there. Here's the thing I was talking about, and I guess it's a different school. I guess it's not the one that Courtney went to. She was a bad kid. Bad, oh, bad kid. She's a sweet baby angel. <laughs> Just smoking that Come green on. stuff. Uh, it says, new Netflix <laughs> true, crime docu-series, true crime docu-series is leaving people traumatized after watching it all in one night. A harrowing new Netflix series is leaving viewers stunned as it dives into the world of cons, cults, and kidnapping, they say. Oh, all three. Uh, about the school, imagine you're just hanging out in high school when all of a sudden you're taken to the principal's office, put in handcuffs, and taken away by total strangers. It sounds like the start of a horror movie, but it was a reality for Catherine Kubler and a number of other seniors and survivors of a place called Ivy Ridge, a disciplinary school in rural Ogdensburg, New York. Our Rochester friends may be aware. Ogdensburg. Kubler was sent to Ivy Ridge after acting out as a teenager, and while brochures made it look like your average high school, in reality, attendees endured mental and physical abuse during their time there. Sounds about right. In the documentary, The Program, colon, Cons, Cults, and Kidnapping, it reveals how students were prohibited from speaking to or looking at one another. They were pen uh, penalized for so much as looking out of a window, survivors claim students... Why would you have windows, then? Uh, they had windows, and it was a temptation. And then you get in trouble for looking out. Survivors claim students could often be seen sleeping on mattresses on the floor of the school's hallways. That's awful, and dude. One attendee recalled an intervention in which she was forced to lie face down on the floor for hours. Most of the time, students were unable to go outside. And they said Ivy Ridge shut down in 2009... But Kubler decided to make the documentary because there was really nothing out there to explain what happened to her and her friends. They said the former student found video footage and files on students lying in plain sight in an abandoned building, which used to house the students. So she, like, busted into the school and found recorded footage, I guess, or, or footage of what happened here. And this is in this show. And they uh, say don't watch it all in one night? Well, the, people are, like, freaked out by it, traumatized by it. It says the program has captivated viewers with its three episodes, many binging the entire series in one night and uh, sharing their thoughts online. This had to be so traumatizing. 10 out of 10 definitely opened my eyes to the things I had no clue were happening. Somebody else said the program on Netflix is crazy from the start. But about seven minutes into episode two, the level of effed up psychological warfare reaches a whole nother level. That sounds no like a idea, promotion, man. Come on. How so many parents uh, bought into this S. I mean, these were just people reacting to it, according to, to this. And it was on Netflix. And it is one of those things that a lot of these girls who went to it, they all commiserate over, Lah! you know, being very, very what did they do angry. Again? I'm sorry. Lah! It's just, that's frustration. That's what they sound like there. 
Um, okay, now we need to learn about something else before we learn more about you with your dispatches. That's how you join us on the show, and you record a message at thenewsjunkie.com. Do that now. C Lane, are you familiar with this? This may help us out. Uh, tell me if you're familiar with the idea that you can use Wi-Fi jamming to rob people now. Is this to rob a- people? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, not specific. I'm trying to think of what Wi-Fi jamming would do. Are you saying to like to break into their houses? Yeah, in, in some way, because they said there is a series of burglaries that have been noted in Los Angeles, California, and may be spreading out around the country. They involve Wi-Fi jamming technology that can disarm surveillance cameras and alarms using a wireless signal. And okay, so uh, yeah, I can I can see how that would work because your uh, if you have a certain brand of uh, uh, alarm system, mm-hmm. well, like say say uh, your ring doorbell. Yeah. Okay. There are signals you could send. Um, that would jam up the Wi-Fi in the in your immediate area, and it would, in essence, take everybody's internet away temporarily. So somebody could just buy a Wi-Fi jammer and then just blast it at your doorbell camera, and then it stops filming. Yes. Um, also, uh, the ring. The problem with doing it to the ring alarm is that it has a SIM card and it does run on cellular and backup power. So if okay, you, if that's you, good. So like whenever my power goes out at at, uh, at the house, obviously the internet goes out, so the ring alarm doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi. God, and so, you, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. So, so I get a notification from my ring app. <laughs> go that, ahead. That I, didn't, says, I, didn't, I didn't mean like make it fast. I just <laughs> saying finish up your thought. No, no, no. Um, I get a notification from my ring app that says, "Hey, um, the ring's on on cellular uh, connection right now because mm-hmm. it, uh, you know, your your power's out." Yeah, and that's doesn't that all this make really good arguments for the Wi-Fi or the camera setup that's not Wi-Fi? The camera setup that's like directly wired is maybe like a lot more safe. Uh, it does, I would think so. Yeah, I mean, it, or uh, if there was some way of uh, you know maybe in, in the future house build, we have the uh, Ethernet at the front door for the the doorbell camera. Wow, Mishbold says of this docu series, it's great. I just finished it yesterday. The reviews for it aren't great, but I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, well, maybe other folks will catch that, and we'll see how it does. Okay, quick break. When we come back, you those dispatches, thenewsjunkie.com. That's where you record yours right now. Final dispatches, stories that didn't make the cut, and today I learned to wrap everything up for a Thursday. All right. That's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we're expecting a gorgeous day. Make plans to be outside if you don't have them already. We'll plan for an afternoon high of 81 degrees of the mix of sunshine and clouds. As we head to our Friday, we'll expect a few more clouds overhead. Temperatures will stay in the low to mid 80s by this weekend for Saturday. Breezy, a high of 89 degrees with evening shower and storm chances. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bonus savings on top brands and better sleep are all the buzz at Mattress Firm's friends and family sale. Hurry in to save up to $700 with your extra discount. You'll even get a free adjustable base on select beds. Plus, if you see a lower price, Mattress Firm will match it. Restrictions apply. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Get ready, because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day-Long Saving Time. And now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. 
Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. Life Imaging FLA is an incredible service that saves lives. They've saved the life of four of my friends and a bunch of listeners. Life Imaging FLA, listen, getting that early detection, early scan can save your life. And here's my goal this month. I want to have at least 50 friends and family go for that free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is definitely worth it. Help me spread the word and have a conversation with your loved ones and get them in to get that free heart scan. Book your scan now for Life Imaging FLA. FLA. Early detection saves lives. Call Life Imaging and FLA. You pick up your cell phone. You dial pound 250. Say the words free heart scan. Few minimum requirements and you can have that scan done. It's free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone. Dial pound 250. Say the words free heart scan and you'll be connected in seconds and ask about cancer screening. Get a scan if you can. Early detection of cancer can definitely save your life. It's Life Imaging FLA. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart media get a scan if you can life imaging fla did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell i'm jay jackson ceo of abacus life for almost 20 years abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you and at abacuspays.com we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds there are no fees and no obligations get real value from your life insurance when you need it with abacus Learn more at abacuspays.com. Our friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. They're a carrier factory authorized dealer, and there are rebates that you get up to $1,275 on a brand new carrier unit. If you're going to go with the experts, you got to go with carrier, and you got to go with MillsAir.com. That's where I got my system. I absolutely love it. And you got to make sure you do maintenance on your AC system. They do service on all brands of AC, and it can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown for you and save you a lot of money. You can count on MillsAir.com. Sneezing, cough. Coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Paid for by Government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-386-7194 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollars in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-386-7194 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-386-7194. In St. Augustine, Pontevedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, it'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. The World Poker Tour is taking over an entire Virgin Voyages luxury cruise ship for a week of sun, fun, and most of all, world-class poker tournaments. WPT Voyage departs from Miami on March 31st for six days at sea with a full slate of poker tournaments, including our $5,000 buy-in main tour event with a million-dollar guarantee. 
the adult-only cruise will stop in Grand Cayman and the Bahamas for golf, tennis and pickleball events. Cabin start at just $1,500 per person, so book yours today on WPTVoyage.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Join us Monday night for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards. Presented by The Hartford, live at South by Southwest. We'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and celebrate the most innovative talent and creators in the industry. Listen by Monday night, starting at 11 p.m. right here. Presented by the Hartford Small Business Insurance. Learn more or start a quote at thehartford.com slash business. With insurance designed for your small business, the Bucks got your back. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer. TK Law. OneFirmForLife.com. Documenting and contributing to the decline in American culture. This Make the cut, and today we're going to wrap everything up for a Thursday. We did it, Joe. Real quick, uh, you guys should know that we are creeping up on March 16th, which is just okay eight. That will be the Saturday where it all goes down. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, it's going to be fun. What were you going to say? I, I was uh, just going, uh, yeah. I can't believe it's, <laughs> it's so close. You would be um, amazed on how many trees I've killed so far with all the paperwork and stuff. Worth it. It yeah. is absolutely worth it, and some of the stuff that we're doing, our, our final uh, finalizations, as they say, is very, very exciting. And I just know there's a lot of great surprises for anyone who's showing up on March mm -hmm. 16th. And your, yeah. your dress rehearsal is here, right? How do you know that? You told well, you us. You told us. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Dress rehearsals here. Do not show up. I'm right? not going to show up for the surprise. dress rehearsals. Sean and I have our own dress rehearsals. But, yes, yeah, so we'll be here because we can make as much noise without getting the cops called on us. When is, what time is the dress rehearsal going to be there? It's going to be um, sometime in the afternoon, evening. Are there still going to be people working at iHeart that are there? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> And they're just going to hear, like, a we band rocking see. out. Man, it's, that's easy for you, but now uh, uh, Fritz and, and the crew have to... Lug all the gear up for uh, for elevator flights? Or ele yeah, <laughs> oh, man. And that's a slow elevator, too. Listen, I said uh, let's, you know, stick the middle finger up and do a full-blown, all the instrument, loud as possible practice that day. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know, it'd be really disturbing if we do get the cops called on us. So I'm like, you don't all want right, that. fine, whatever. But I was ready to stick it to the man. I, uh, I was. Celan, you know how I am about stuff. I just it, this doesn't matter that much, but just uh, dub cube. There's like a right click <laughs> thing going on. Oh my it's god! Driving crazy, man. Uh, anyhow, just okay. I, it is brought to you by. Our I'm okay with that. I'm okay with him saying that because I'm the one that like if uh, if somebody's giving a presentation. <laughs> And there's like a cursor in the middle of a screen. Oh, I can't stand that. Oh, in fact, I could do it. I could do mm -hmm. it, and you'll you'll just know how annoying it is to me. I'm always the one that's like, you better move that effing thing. <laughs> so help me. I haven't me. heard one thing you said. Yeah. It See? Uh, that damn mouse. Uh, just work. okay. Brought to you by Mills Air. Our friends over there are the absolute best. Uh, and yeah. If you need any help with your AC, reach out to them. Mills Air is going to help you out. And they're the big uh, sponsor over at Just Okay. Uh, and also our friend Mo DeWitt, and we got some news from Mo coming tomorrow. Um, I'm excited you're gonna for wanna, that. You want to tune into that and figure out some extra stuff that's going on. We're going to get all geared up for a Just OK week here, and then afterwards we'll spring into the, the year full-fledged. We're going to get into the second quarter, and we'll talk about all kinds of stuff happening in the world. We'll get away from the event. It's just the way things go. I'm I, sort um, of uh, excited and sort of uh, terrified about also uh, – our, our last but not least, our, our alcohol sponsor, this Beatbox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to have it at the event. People are going to get hammered. It's 11% alcohol. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah, Beatbox Party Punch. <laughs> so we have all kinds of alcohol that will be available at oh, the yeah, it's event. Not, but yeah. <laughs> it's not there, the there, 
one of the brands that they're pushing as part of the sponsorship is this beatbox brand, which I think I saw on Shark Tank. Really? I, uh, That's yeah. I, I, I didn't think, think they I saw had it. alcohol stuff on Shark Tank. I, I believe Sharks? that I did. I got something I'm, for you, okay? I could be wrong, but it looks great. Uh, let's do our final dispatch. Here's I'm Not a Hippie talking about scary boot cams. I believe. Maybe. Hit it. Uh, my older brother. Um, he got sent to a school called the Dozier School for Boys in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, and when he used to call home on the weekends, he used to tell my mom that uh, he's seen, you know, uh, kids there one day and the kids are the missing next. the next day and never been seen again. And out back, he's seen skulls and bones and stuff. And come to find out that school was killing boys, uh, young boys. Um, it's a big documentary about it. I've heard of this. Um, if you can yeah. find it, it's really chilling. But my brother experienced that. Yeah, I'm I've, glad I've he's heard alive. of that. Jesus. Yeah, thankfully, I've heard of that uh, news story where they discovered all like the remains behind the place. Uh, big changes coming to True TV. This will be our story that didn't make the cut. And all you big and practical Joker's fans are going to be hit hardest by this. Is this the same? That was Spike, wasn't it? Or no? Spike, I, I don't know what they turned right. Spike into. Did they turn it into True TV? True TV has been held up just like MTV was held up by ridiculousness. True TV has been held up by almost nothing other than Impractical Jokers. Mm. And Warner Brothers is making a lot of big changes. And so what they've decided to do is True TV is going to be sports town now. Oh, They're going to have yeah. all sorts of live sports all night long. Well, where do we True go to TV. watch the Jokers? You got to go to oh, TBS. Man. The Jokers are moving. And that's what they're doing, because these are all great decisions, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. Let's get the hell out of here. It's time to go. It's time for this. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. What are you laughing at? Uh, Radio Michael 7 said he's tried this beatbox before and it almost got him arrested. Hey. <laughs> that works. All right. Uh, today I learned for a Thursday, March 7th, 2024. Let's go for it. Here we go. Today I learned this movie right here. Uh, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Dirty Dancing. That's right. Dirty Dancing. Dance this is the closing song. song of Dirty Dancing. I had the time of my life. And it's been listed as the third most popular song played at weddings, weddings. funerals uh, in the United Kingdom. Oh, because I had the time of my life. Yeah, it seems like they lift film. up the dead body like they did <laughs> in the movie. And they, they do like that uh, meme, you know, where they got yeah, yeah. those the guys are dancing with the, the coffin. That whole thing. <laughs> so they learned research suggests working irregular shifts for a decade ages the brain an extra six and a half years. Noted. So if you work weird hours, it's doing you in. And your brain turns into oldo brain a whole lot faster than it should normally. Today I learn this guy. Ice Cube. Ice Cube is correct. Also, unrelated, Ice T. Oh, is, geez, uh, Sean. That's unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> Just that. Unrelated. Was, Ice T made up a gang to keep real gang members off his back in high school. He said, We told people we were part of the Hillside Crips. We had them thinking there was hundreds of us, and I never had any trouble. Start gang banging them books. Uh, Ice Cube probably did some things too, I'm sure. We just, you know, you know we won't know. Give him the credit. Hair will sometimes grow back differently after chemotherapy. People will have straight hair and then, bam, it's curly or vice versa. Can even grow back a different color. Today, I learned this lady right here. Uh, Alanis Morissette. That's right. Alanis Morissette yeah. is correct. Uh, uh. The Oxford English Dictionary credits Alanis Morissette with coining what phrase? Any guesses? Ironic. On the way is it this ironic? Ooh, that's a good guess. That's uh, not right, though. It's something in the movie theater. Friends with uh, benefits. Benefits. Huh. Yes, that's correct. Didn't know that. They said she was the first one to use this. I thought it had just been around for ever and a day. You're my best not. friend. Best friend with benefits. Different song. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Was that before? Who knows? Oh, we'll never Ice know. Tea. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missing the show. Get the podcast of the news. Junkie.com. We'll see you next time.